Hello. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Well, good afternoon. It's 4 p.m. Hi. <laughs> I hope you're all having a good day. I, for one, am ready to game. Oh. Now I'm ready to game. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's good to see you all. I hope you're having a good afternoon. Oh, snappy. No. Please. Not Rick. No! Not Rick. Okay. <laughs> Rick is safe. <laughs> We're fine. It's fine. Snap is ready to fight? Yeah, clearly. She's sharpening her claws so she can destroy Rick Astley. Are you- don't- I- Oh, here we go. She's gonna walk across the- Yep. Nope. We. Oh. Maybe she'll just sit up there. I thought she was gonna walk across the top of the shelves. <laughs> we're not playing Batu, no, Shen. We're, um, we're playing with the Potts family today. That is my plan. Ash, thank you for the 19 months, by the way. It's good to see you. Um, please, that's my cat. <laughs> Look at it. She's just hanging out. I think she's staring down Rick Astley, actually. <laughs> I think that's what she's doing, is staring down Rick Astley. <laughs> I respect it. I do. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you gonna kill Rick? Uh oh. I think she might be try- <laughs> Oh, we're fine. She was just checking out Rick Astley, it's fine. She just wanted to see- Uh oh, stop! Okay. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> False alarm, it's fine. <laughs> ALC, thank you for the 22 months too. I really- I thought she was gonna try and kill Rick again. I don't trust her. <laughs> Anyway, Eliza Pancakes cosplay, yes. So we are getting really close to our goal of, a, well, in the grand scheme of things, we're close. We're not actually that close, but I promised we'd, we would do an Eliza Pancakes cosplay if we raise $150,000 for St. Jude. And we're at $133,000 for St. Jude. So it's it's in the realm of possibility, you know? It's, it's not that un, unlikely anymore. <laughs> Don't you do that every day though, okay. <laughs> the banana suit? Uh, we're doing the banana suit stream on Friday. Um, we're gonna wear a banana suit and we are going to play through Strangerville on Friday. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is the plan. Uh, don't worry, the banana suit's coming. <laughs> and it's coming soon. <laughs> Time to shop for those flip-flops and tank top. Yeah, I'm gonna buy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna buy the Eliza Pancakes cosplay stuff tonight. I think it's- I think we need to do it. I think we need to be prepared. So, <laughs> I'm gonna do the Eliza Pancakes, um, preparation this evening. So, <laughs> Ellie, thank you for the 13 months. Mavusa, thank you for the 3 months. Emma, thank you for the 4 months. Uh, Blackstar with the 8 months. Clover with the 6 months. Thank you so much. The other thing, the other update, um, is that this weekend- So, there's- I need to still, like, figure out how to set it up, because- I'm not, like, entirely certain, but I watched my friend Avery, um, whose name is Little Seaha on Twitch. She did this thing where there's, like, a Twitch extension, um, where people can, like, get- usually, like, give bits or spend points to, like, affect people's gameplay, but they made it work with Tiltify, too, so you can, like, pay money to the St. Jude Tiltify campaign, and then it'll, like, kill me in Minecraft. <laughs> um, and you can, like, set it up so it's like, oh, you know, if you give so this much money, it'll, like, spawn something, or if you do this, it'll, you know, do this, and, like, um, I think that's really interesting, <laughs> and I think that'd be really fun to do on Saturday. I need to, I started, like, half setting it up this morning, um, I need to, like, make sure it's actually gonna work, but I think we might do that on Saturday, because I think that would be really fun. <laughs> so, that's a possibility for Saturday, that's, like, likely, um, and then obviously also on Friday, we're gonna do the banana suit Strangerville stream. So, 
<laughs> I still need to figure out like how I'm gonna do the cake baking stream because I thought I would have more time <laughs> But we already unlocked it. I need to figure out like logistically how I can stream from downstairs because the internet's not that good down there So I like it would not work, you know, so I I think I need to get like a really long ethernet cable because <laughs> like the it's it's in here and like my Wi-Fi is not that good, but like with my e like my computer's plugged in, so it's fine. But like I think I might need to get an Ethernet cable and run it from there, <laughs> all the way downstairs in order for it to work. So um, that's the situation. So I still have to do some testing um, on that one to make sure we can make it work. But we'll do that too. <laughs> um, Anonymous, Carissa, Stan, Luna, Izzy, uh, and Ionio, thank you all for those donations to Saint Jude. Um, thank you, thank you so 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 much. Uh, also. Thank you, Molly with the $20 to St. Jude, I love you, thank you so much. And Frona, thank you for the $20 as well, you are both so amazing. Thank you so much for the donations to St. Jude. Um, Bing Bong, I'm wearing my Cool Cats Against Cancer t-shirt, nice! Uh, Courtney and, and Rory with the $80! Um, and Dollar Train, thank you for the dollar to St. Jude, all of you as well. Uh, Tiny Simsy, Carrie, Alex, uh, Marvelous, Waystone, Kiki, Pop Punk, Frito, Sweet Calissa. <laughs> Dora, Lonnie, Soro, MJ's Meatballs, Eddie, Jen, Soul, Elizabeth, Charlie, Nat, Simran, Frog Queen, Alexis. Thank you all for the resubs and stuff. Thank you so much. Okay, one last thing before we get started. Um, I want to give a quick shout out to a streamer called Unicorn Kai because, well, <laughs> for good reason, because this poor amazing streamer, um, people were trying to prank her and like pretended that I gave her a shout out on stream and they were like mocking her in chat and I feel so bad about it. I feel so guilty. And so I was like watching her, I lurked in her stream for a while before I went live today. She's playing The Walking Dead. I think she's probably still live, um, but she's playing The Walking Dead right now. And I just feel so bad because she's so cool. And like these people were being mean and like, anyway, um, my mods are gonna spam that. Yeah, she's currently live right now. My mods are gonna spam the link. Um, if you wanna go over and follow her, uh, this is an actual shout out for a very cool streamer called Unicorn Kai, um, who is just awesome. So I think you should go check out her channel. And also The Walking Dead. I don't know if you've ever heard of it or played it, but it's a really fun game. I watched Dan, I haven't played it myself, but I watched Dan play through it. And I just really like that game. It's a story game um, about zombies. <laughs> it's really, um, it's just like The Sims 4. <sighs> yeah, these two games have a lot in common. <laughs> you know, The Sims and The Walking Dead. Yeah, they're really similar games. Um, but no, Kai is great, so there's a link in the chat. Um, Ocean, Julia, Honey, Maya, Caitlin, Tyler, Anthony, thank you all for those donations to St. Jude, too. Thank you so much. Um, also, uh, Temp and, and Bopper and Snacky. Oh no, Tiny Simsy, thank you for the resubs and bits, too. Thank you so much. Okay, so... Today we're working on playing our Legacy Challenge save. 468 simoleons. This is your life's work, and that's the only money you're making- <sighs> Okay, anyway, <laughs> this is our legacy challenge. We're almost on gen four. Um, this sim, uh, Clayla, oh no, Shella, I'm sorry. <laughs> she probably thought she was getting pranked again, <laughs> but it was real this time. <laughs> oh no. Um, <laughs> wait. Stop, sorry, 134,000? What just happened? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, oh my god, Oakley, thank you for the $500 donation to St. Jude in honor of your grandmother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Beyond words, thank you so much. Um, and Jaden and Giselle, thank you for the donations. Dora Mary with the, with the donation to St. Jude too. What the heck? <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> you are all so amazing. Um, Lady Shaylee, Mama Sim, thank you. Uh, Terry all the 25 months, uh, Ona, and, and Shark and Transmoth uh, and SG, thank you so much. Uh, Evie, I'm sorry if I missed any resubs or anything. Um, so your follow body? No, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Anyway, the other thing um, is that if I miss any alerts, I'm so sorry. I know you know this, but there's a lot going on right now. <laughs> I'm doing my best, but there's a lot going on. Ah! No, we must come in vacuum. This is not acceptable. There's a dust bunny in my house. I cannot get behind this. <laughs> I cannot get behind this. Do a quick raid. So not, I don't know if you know how raids work, but if I raid someone, it ends my stream. <laughs> and I went live nine minutes ago. Um, so we can't, can't really do that. Um, but <laughs> we'll raid someone later. 
<laughs> we'll, we will raid someone later, but maybe not. Maybe not yet. <laughs> Stream over, yeah. Okay, maybe I'll um play with the dog a little bit to get my fun up. That'll be good. Maisha, Pancakes Cosplay, thank you for the donations to St. Jude. Um, Ari, Rayan, Kelsey, uh, Ali, thank you for the for the resubs and stuff too. Uh, and Coffee, thank you for the 10 months. Okay, so the other thing, if you're just coming into the stream, maybe you're new to the channel, um, you don't know what we're up to right now, we're raising money for St. Jude all month. Um, this is, like, we're over halfway through the month now. About day 19 of our St. Jude fundraiser. Um, so far we've raised $134,000 for St. Jude. And if you didn't know, St. Jude is a children's research hospital here in the U.S. Um, They've been around for about 50 years now, and since they first started back in the 60s, um, back then the survival rate of childhood cancer was 20%, and they have like inverted that. Now it is an 80% chance of kids surviving that cancer, largely because of the, the work that St. Jude does at their research hospital. Um, so they're doing so many good things, but most importantly, every single patient that gets treated at St. Jude will never pay a dime. The families of St. Jude kids never receive a bill for any of their treatments, literally not for anything, even like travel, uh, meals, places to stay, if they have to travel to come to the hospital, they will never receive a bill for anything, anything to do with that treatment. And these donations go directly to help pay for those kids. Um, so St. Jude is funded entirely by donors from like people like me and you. Um, and this money goes directly to helping those kids. So thank you all so, 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 so much for this. I'm St. Jude means so much to me and I am so grateful for you. So thank you again. <laughs> um, Lara with the $20, Toronto Maple Leafs with the $20, Prissa with the $50. Um, Kiki, thank you for the dollar. Ida, thank you for five dollars. Thank you so much. Yeah, the other thing, um, okay, one more, like, news update before we get started with the, with the gameplay. Uh, The Sims posted a tweet today that I think many of you will very much like to see. So, the new kit came out yesterday, right? Today, they teased the game pack that they're announcing tomorrow. Like, the trailer for the game pack comes out tomorrow. Says seeking creatives. The YouTube link just takes you to the to the like um, countdown to the live to the trailer. But um, the trailer comes out tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific. That's 11 a.m. Eastern time. Um, and it's these three little slides. Nancy says, "I need a walk-in closet big enough to accommodate my ego. Something sleek and modern." Penny says, "Looking to turn a tired dining room into a painter's studio." And Bob says. My wife wants a playroom on a budget, and it has to be purple. Can you help? I'm sorry. Is this an interior design career pack? Because the other tweet they posted was like, get ready for a new career in the game pack. Where's the Sims of the Summer thingy? Snag a cool new career with a creative new game pack. Are we getting an interior design game pack? This genuinely is like one of, I think the most excited I've been about any pack announcement, like for all of the Sims 4, that's not true. But game pack wise, I this really excites me like so much. So, um, trailer drops tomorrow. I guess we'll see what it is, but I'm really looking forward to this. <laughs> hey, SimGuru Soap's in the chat. Hi, Soap, I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm just, I'm so excited. There's so much Sims news. How can they just drop all of this? Like, this week has been wild. We had this come out, the kit comes out, now the game pack's getting announced. Like, what is going on right now? <laughs> oh my god. Um, anyway, there's a lot happening. There's a lot happening. Kiki, we're gonna watch, I'll make a video reacting to the trailer. So I'll, I'll make a video on the trailer. Don't worry, I always do. Um, I always do. And this one especially, we're gonna react to it in the video. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is the plan, at least. Um, <laughs> Kes, Lava, Emma, Wilma, Trevor, thank you all for those massive donations to St. Jude. Also, Lava with a sub gift, Alyssa with a prime sub, Tess with the five gifted subs, uh, and Kale and KG with the resubs. Thanks, everybody. Um, anyway, I'm just, I'm, this has been really fun. There's a lot going on in a good way, so. <laughs> what day will it come out? Um, they didn't say. I think in the past, they've announced game packs anywhere from like a couple weeks to a month in advance, right? I'm trying to remember, um, but I wouldn't be surprised if the game pack came out like mid to late June. I don't know, but I don't, I don't know. I'm just guessing. <laughs> we'll find out tomorrow. They're going to drop the trailer tomorrow, um, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> Shan, thank you for the sub gift to Sugar Soap, by the way. And Meg, Kitty, thank you for the donations. 
Uh, Linica, thank you for the six dollars to Saint Jude too. Thank you so much. Um, I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> this is big. Um, <laughs> no, I don't think they're implying story. So Nat, I don't know if you've seen this. The pancakes have a kid in that picture. Um, the pancakes actually have a kid. They added on like one of the, um, maybe for like a Sims anniversary, they like gave the pancake family a, a son named Iggy on the gallery. So like this, this is canon. He's not like in the game, but they did give the pancakes a son named Iggy back in like 2017. So, um, I don't, they, like, I don't think they're like implying anything with this. I think it's just Iggy. <laughs> Um, I think it's probably an Easter egg to this. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think this is when Toddler came out. Toddlers came out, maybe, that they did this. I don't know. Um, I don't remember exactly when, but February of 2017 is when. <laughs> A while ago. Um, Anonymous, uh, Tyriel, this pack seems fun. Aubrianne, happy birthday! Um, Emily, thank you for the donations to St. Jude. Congrats on your raise, Emily, and in memory of Grandpa, thank you for the $20 to St. Jude. I am so sorry for your loss, but thank you for the donation to St. Jude. I am so grateful for all of you. Thank you so much. Um, okay, I'm gonna sing a birthday song to my friend. I missed your sub. I'm sorry, I probably missed a lot. There's a lot of donations right now, and there, it's... <laughs> it scrolls, and I... <laughs> I'm doing my best not to miss anything, but it happens. Your birthday to McKenna, hey! <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the cat? May she rest in peace. Um, <laughs> it, it died of old age. <laughs> Last time we streamed this. We're playing on short lifespan, so the sims die, like, a lot. Um, it keeps happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stoddard, Lexi, Lay, um, thank you for the donations. In memory of Granddad, thank you for the $10 to St. Jude, too. Thank you all so much. A quick overview of the headstones. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this is so morbid. Okay, so here's my, um, here's my family. Uh, I've had two pets die of old age. Um, let's see, where's the first one? Um, Piper, okay, here's my founder. Uh, she got eaten by piranhas. It was quite the incident. Um, then her husband Bennett lived a long life, died of old age. Um, then her next son, her eldest son, Peter, was the heir. Uh, he also got eaten by piranhas in a tragic piranha accident. It was terrible. Um, and then his, his husband, wait. Yeah, then his husband, Austin, um, lived on for a long time, died of old age. Uh, and then this guy, Clayton, was dating this woman. Um, and then turned out to not be the nicest lady. She had so many red flags. We should have known when she had the Batu aspiration, but, you know. Um, <laughs> we had a kid with her and then we killed her. Sorry. <laughs> Jesse O'Matic, thank you for the $500 donation to St. Jude. Hello? Thank you so much. <laughs> what the heck? Thank you so much. Um, Mona Lisa with a donation out of your grandpa. Uh, Big Mama with the $25, Maisha with the $3 to St. Jude. Thank you so much, everybody. What What is going on? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Um, anyway, so my Sims are all dead. <laughs> Basically, this this woman, Elise, um, we started dating her, and she seemed, like, nice enough, you know? Um, but because we're playing on short lifespan, like, we don't really have a lot of time to be, like, you know, dating around. <laughs> because we gotta start having kids... Because you don't want, like, your kids to die, um, before you are, like, before you're an elder, or backwards. You don't want your sim to die before your kids grow up. So, like, we, you know, you gotta get a move on and have kids as fast as possible. Um, so we were like, it's too late. We already started dating Elise. We can't backtrack now. What are we gonna do? So we ended up starting to date Elise. Um, proposed to her. She said no! And then we wooed with her got her pregnant, she said yes to our proposal then, um, all in the same day, and then once she gave birth to the baby, uh, it was into the pond with her. Oh, and one, oh, I missed one. One of my sons died of, in the pond as well. I've killed lots of sims in the pond. Um, <laughs> but, but, 
that was the situation. <laughs> that, is, that is the situation at hand. Is Everybody's in the pond, basically. The first one was an accident, and then the second one was an accident, and now it's been on purpose. Uh, Cambria, I'm so sorry to hear that. Thank you for the $10 to say, Jude. Um, Cecilia, Dollar Train, Alina, um, Raf, thank you all for the donations to St. Jude, too. Pika, thank you for the five months, and Bacon, thank you for the Prime sub, too. Thank you so much. The pond can kill? Yes, your sims can fall into this. Okay, so they don't actually get eaten by piranhas. This pond came with Get Famous, and the reason that this started, <laughs> the reason this happened is because I was trying to explain to my chat that your sims can, in fact, what, did you break this? Excuse you. Okay, I'll come repair it. That's my brother. <laughs> well, I was trying to explain to my chat. I was like, look, your sims can die. There's like a piranha pond. It's a shark pond, too. You can replace it with whatever you want. And I was like, look, um, your sims can get eaten by sharks. They can die in the shark pond. And they were like, no, you're lying. And I was like, well, it's true. I've never had it happen before, but it's true. And I was going on to explain um, that, like, I tried when the pack first came out. I intentionally tried to kill a sim in this pond. I had never had a sim die in this piranha pond, right? Then, I go to show it on stream. I'm like, look, I'll show you. I've never had a sim die in here. I click on it. I jump in. My sim drowns in the piranha pond. Immediately. <laughs> oh. $135,000 for St. Jude, by the way. <laughs> What is going on? Um, Toasty with the $5, Bloomers with the $55, and Sarah, thank you for the $5 too, to St. Jude. Thank you so much. What is going on right now? <laughs> thank you so, so, so much, everybody. Um, we've been live for like 20 minutes and raised like $2,000. <laughs> thank you so, 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 so much. Um, I should demonstrate again. I don't want to. Anyway, um, my sim died. And then... Flash, that was my founder, right? Flash forward to later on, um, with, with her son, my, my next generation, this, the Gen 2 heir, right? I was like, look, the last sim that died, it was a fluke thing. I've never had a sim die that way before. It's impossible. It won't happen again. I'm like, look, look, it was a fluke. I click on it. I jump in. My sim dies again. So then I had killed two sims in the pond. <laughs> Two of them in the pond by accident. And then I started doing it on purpose. So now I've killed like four in the pond. Should I add Vlad to my house and do it? I think vampires can drown, right? Why wouldn't they be able to? Well, I can't think of a reason why he wouldn't be able to to drown in the pond. <laughs> Jose, thank you for the $100 donation to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Um, in honor of your family, I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, I'm sending you so much love. Um, I'm so, so sorry. Thank you for the $100 donation to St. Jude, by the way. Uh, and Mrs. Bergs and Georgie, thank you for the resubs. <laughs> Oh, it's almost Clayton's birthday. Oh, that's good for him. I hope he dies before it gets light outside. No, I don't know how to- wait. Wait. No way he makes out of this one alive. No way. Into the pond. Into the pond. Come on. This is the one. What? Okay, none of my theories are proving true. I'm telling- do you see what I mean though? How did my sim die the first try? It doesn't make any sense! No, vampires aren't immortal. They can die. Vampires can burn up in the sun and stuff. I don't know if vamp maybe vampires can't drown. And that's the problem. Come on. 
Why can't vampires drown? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Abby, Cameron, Quig, thank you for the donations to St. Jude. Wait, seems like he's been down there for a while. Nope. <laughs> Jade, uh, Shogun, Mrs. Bergs, Tori, Caitlin, Meg, thank you for the resubs. <laughs> it's fine. If he doesn't die in the pond, he'll at least die when the sun comes up. So, um, we should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Foreign loving Disney, thank you for the $20 St. Jude too. Thank you so much. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to kill a vampire. Okay, that would be ridiculous. What? Why aren't you sleeping? Oops. I wasn't paying attention. This isn't my fault. I'm cheating it. Because they don't breathe? Do vampires not breathe? Since when? I'm sorry, I've never seen a movie where vampires can swim underwater permanently. He's a vampire, not a fish. You're telling- no, 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 no. You're telling me that Edward in Twilight sparkles and has gills? No. <laughs> vampires can still die. He might be dead, but he can still die. I guess he doesn't breathe, so he can't die in the pond. Well, look, the sun's coming out. So it's not looking good for him. No, no, you're not invited into the house. What? I don't lock for specific sim. I don't want- No, I don't want Vlad in the house. Why can't I lock the door for Vlad? Don't come in the house. Go over here. Can I get rid of his umbrella? How do I get rid of his umbrella? Close umbrella. Come on. Okay, now stay. <laughs> Alicia, Louie, die Vlad, Georgie! <laughs> Edward Cullen was a fish. Thank you all for your donations to St. Jude, by the way. <laughs> okay, I need to take care of my sims before I get too distracted. Um, I'm gonna sell this dirty clothes. How are you doing? Okay, you're pretty much fine. Come get some food. Maybe you could, like, nap then afterward. I don't know. Here we go! Well, he- he won't die from the tense buff, no, but he's unco he's uncomfortable enough that he should have died when he was in the pond. No, 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 stay over here, stay. Close the umbrella, what are you doing? <sighs> Hang on. Oh, oh that was fast. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Vlad! I will not miss you. Oh no, my dog is sad now. Oops. Oh. Well, look. No, 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 no. You're not about- No, 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 no. You're not gonna sit here and be sad about Vlad. You don't even know Vlad. I'm cheating away any sad movement. We don't care about Vlad. I'm sorry. That's not my problem. Not my problem. <laughs> oh, cool! We get a new kind! Yay! <laughs> okay. Um. Let me just- Maybe I should stick this one in the back. Because it's bigger. Let me scoot the- pet ones in the front, because they're a bit smaller, too. Yay! <laughs> Bye, Vlad! What should we say? I told you it wouldn't work. Fish boy. Okay, <laughs> options. Let me put my autonomy back on. <laughs> okay. To cheat away moods? I've got a mod to do that. Um, 
I use a mod called UI Cheats Extension. What a lovely graveyard. Thank you. I My goal eventually is to have my entire front yard filled with them. So. That's what I'm up to right now. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to sell some things. So, our goal right now is we'd like to get as much money as possible. Um saved up. I have to keep some of these things though cuz they're nice. But we want to have enough money as possible because we as, enough as much money as possible. <laughs> Basically, I I want to be rich because um I really want to be able to buy our, buy us a new house and stuff, you know? Um and and build a new a new spot to live. So, we need to like save up some cash so that we can build a new place, you know? Um Shogun, thank you for the $26 to St. Jude. Happy birthday! I can sing you a song. <laughs> yeah, here's the family tree. Um, this is our actual family tree, like, from the legacy. So. <laughs> we actually have some dragon fruit already. Um, we could probably- you know what, I could have my teen start- I didn't have enough time to work on this before, like, because I had too much going on, but Tulip, Snapdragon, Bird of Paradise, I'm pretty- well, I thought I had Dragon Fruit. Rose? Yeah, Dragon Fruit. Okay, I do. We have some. Um, but we'll have to, like- What? It's not out of season. It's spring. Liar. Maybe our next house can have a greenhouse. I don't know. That could be fun. A dollar for every grave. Thank you for the nine dollars and graveyard collector's edition. Thank you for the dollar to say June too. Very nice. I should send random sims to the pond to grow the graveyard. Well, that makes me feel guilty. You know? Layla's aspiration is the chef one right now. Um, it looks like she's gonna end up- We aren't sure what she's gonna do yet. She has the glutton and self-assured traits. We randomized her aspiration too, so she could always change this. Like, we're, we've been randomizing our, our sims traits, so I'm not like, hard set on her doing this. We could even give her the gardener career, because I haven't really done that one. Um, so that doesn't bother me. Like, I, we could be a, a gardener. I just, I kind of like having my sims do jobs that don't make us, like, ridiculous amounts of money because, um, I don't want to have too much money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I kind of like that my sims aren't sitting with, like, 50k in the bank. Why is one gravestone black? Oh, we killed Vlad, the vampire. <laughs> uh, Phoebe, thank you for the $50 to St. Jude. Thank you so, so, so much. Uh, Lady Moose, Feminist Cheesecake, Bluey, and, and Pern, thank you for the resubs and stuff, too. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Yes, invite over Gerald! That's my boyfriend. <laughs> Manifesting an interior design game pack. Do you know what, though? You're probably in luck. That sounds like what it's gonna be tomorrow. I don't even think we need to manifest. I think we've got it. <laughs> yeah, two Geralds. My, I'm dating a sim named Gerald in my other Let's Play and in this Let's Play. Gerald! 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 Okay, are we dating him yet? Oh, I'm not? Oh! We should compliment his appearance. Do you think I should try and just reveal his my crush on him? Do you know- oh, he's sad? What happened now? Oh, it would now be a bad time to reveal my crush. To the pond? No, we need Gerald! <laughs> we don't have anybody else! Never met a Gerald? You know what? I've never met a Gerald in real life either. And somehow I've got two Sims that are marrying Geralds right now. Oh, the daughter's name is Clayla. It's like Kayla, but Clay, because our last name is Potts. Yeah, my Sim in my, my YouTube Let's Play is gonna, um, Mango is hungry? Well, have you tried eating the food that's right there? Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> um, Anonymous, thank you for the dollar to St. Jude. Um, Lori, thank you for the $2 to St. Jude. Yeah, I know that cheated buffs won't kill Sims. Like, if you try to cheat a Sim to be enraged, it won't kill them. That's not why he wouldn't die in the pond. Because my Sim wasn't going to die because he was tense. Um, he would die from the pond, and they're more likely, I think, based on my experiences, to die in the pond if they're, like, in a bad mood. So I don't think it should matter if the Sims' bad mood is cheated. Like, I think that it still counts as a bad mood as far as, like, other things impacting them negatively. Um, I think it's just the vampires can't drown is the problem. Uh, I think that's our issue. <laughs> Are you complaining about my house being messy? Grow up! Oh, should I not exchange my numbers with him? I don't think he likes me. Oh no, it's going bad. Oh, Gerald, leave! Oh, red flags, red flags. <laughs> okay, Kim, Rocky Top, Kalani, thank you for the, uh, for the bits and subs and stuff too. Thank you so much. 12 months, by the way, Rocky Top and, and Kim, both of the 12-month resubs. Thank you so much. I can't put him in the pond. I need him. Oh. I was gonna see if we could work hard. He's- oh, he is working hard. Oh. I wanna get promoted today. I wanna get promoted today. I wanna get promoted today. <gasps> Yay! Wow! He's gonna get promoted today! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I got promoted! This is shocking! I never expected this to happen to me! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Here, do you want to go, like, observe the sky? I don't know. Haley, thank you for the five months. Kalani, thank you for the five gifted- or two gifted subs. What am I saying? I just saw the five from Haley's five-month resub and I- What the heck? Um, his mom was an alien, actually. He's not an alien, but his mom was an alien. So yes, Gerald's mother was an alien. <laughs> Believe it or not, yes she was. <laughs> um, so that's fun. <laughs> okay, I think if we can save up like 10,000 simoleons, I think we could build a new house. Right? I think we need a little bit more money. But if we can save up a bit more... I don't think it would be unreasonable to get ourselves a new house. She's not having a good day. Kill Eliza and Nancy with the pond? They're already dead, Maddie. <laughs> We're playing on the fourth generation right now. Eli like, keep in mind, right, that like Nancy was, was the same age as this sim. She's been dead for a while. <laughs> Eliza and Nancy are long gone. Um, they were only here a long time ago. <laughs> but because we're on the fourth generation, like, the, the originals, like, Nancy and all of them, they're not here anymore. <laughs> they, um, they have escaped our wrath, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, I think I should send her to bed. She's not doing well right now. This sim is pretty much fine. Maybe you could practice. Uh, Chandra Brown, uh, Haley, thank you, Abby, with all the resubs and stuff, too. Thank you so much. Um, come on. Just play your violin. It'll be cute. It'll be nice. Oh, he's level six now. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Okay. Get some leftovers. I know it's still raining, but, like, can I- what if I force him to run around and, <laughs> like, dig up stuff to make me money? <laughs> Lily, thank you for the $5 to St. Jude, by the way. Um, Sunday, thank you for the seven months, too. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much. Hurry up. Oh, he's eating on the toilet. Perfect. <laughs> Two birds, one stone. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, I might just... I know it's raining, but... Sell Vlad's gravestone for some money? Well, actually, that's the thing. I want to keep it. I really like having a pile of gravestones in my front yard. So, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really want to get rid of Vlad's gravestone. Because <laughs> I quite like having it there. 
I'm not gonna lie. I realize this is probably a bit silly of me, but... I find it's very fun to have gravestones in my front yard. It's very welcoming, you know? Oh, it's my brother! Hey, Chip. Okay. Slowly but surely, we will get enough money for me to build my new house. <laughs> Bethany, thank you for the dollar to St. Jude, too. Thank you so much. Why, can you hide the captions? You should be able to hide the captions. I'm not sure. Oh, don't charge me 36 simoleons. I'm not sure what button you're clicking. So we have two kinds of closed captions. There's one that are built into Twitch, um, and there's ones that are from an extension. So if you hover over the stream screen, you should be able to see both of them, one on the bottom and one on the right. Um, and you should be able to turn off them that way. Um, but it, they, they're very easy to turn off. But we have two different kinds of closed captions. So, um, <laughs> build the house on stream or on YouTube? We build the house on stream. Um, Ellie, thank you for the $2 to St. Jude in honor of your stepmom. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this stream? Well, if we have enough money, we can do it this stream. But at the moment, I don't think we have enough money to do it today. I have to keep cheating to make all the ghosts leave. I kind of like the ghosts sometimes, but I don't really like the ghosts right now, so. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Wait. <gasps> Did I never send him to bed? Oh, I never put him to bed. Oops. <laughs> Liz, thank you for the $20 to St. Jude, too. Thank you so much. Well, if I- I'm not sure that locking the door makes a difference. I tried that before, and they still were coming into the house. So I'm unsure about that. Um, I'm, I'm really not certain how that works. Use the bathroom. Oh god, we have to do laundry really badly. I keep having to sell it. That's okay. Oh, the no trespassing thing? Oh, maybe. <gasps> Disallow vampires. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, the house on the gallery, yeah. I built this. The house might say that it, inc it includes custom content. It doesn't include custom content, but I'm, it might say that on the gallery because we have, like, some family photos on the wall. I'm pretty sure it doesn't say that, but just in case, you might have to take the, like, include CC button. Because um, it tends to glitch like that, as you've probably seen. Um, it, it does that often. What are you doing? Yeah, watch the TV while you eat. What are you doing? Why won't she multitask? Whatever, I'm cheating it. Vlad from the front yard, name a kid Mary Jane Potts, and did Vlad die while I was gone? Yes. Um, also, uh, Riri, thank you for the five dollars to St. Jude. I am so, so sorry to hear that. I love you. Thank you so much. Um, and ahaha, thank you for the 101 to St. Jude as well. No, we have autonomy on. Um, we have autonomy on full. Pixel, uh, I am Pen. Thank you for the for the resubs. Mel, thank you for the two thirty one to say Jude. <laughs> okay, I think you have to go to school, my friend. Have a wonderful time, you as well, and you can vacuum the house. Yeah, people keep asking if we're gonna build today, guys. I'm not sure. We need to have enough money to build a new place, and I we're not really in the range that I'd like to be to to build a new house. I'd like to have um. 10,000 simoleons at least. Oh. Oops. Okay. Do laundry add to washing machine? Come on. There you go. Wash it? Come on. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Annabelle, thank you for 11 months. Pixel, thank you for two months. Why not paint for money? Oh, because I don't want to have that much money that fast. You guys got to understand that we're playing a legacy challenge, and I hate when my sims get too rich too quickly. I really hate it. So I'm I'm trying to avoid that happening. Um, I would much rather my sim not get super rich super fast, because I find that it's really boring when that happens. Um, so we're... Oh, practice your speech. We're trying to take it slow. You know? 
<laughs> Sam, thank you for the twenty dollars to Saint Jude too. Uh, and Amber, thank you for the thirteen months. Okay. That's the thing, Abby, like, when you get too rich in the legacy challenges, it's it gets boring, right? Like, it's no fun when you have too much money. Um, like, I just prefer to, like, actually have to work for money throughout the game. I don't know. I need to be a style influencer? No. <laughs> also, my dad just said, how do I monitor and mod? <laughs> dad, if you actually want me to teach you how to mod, I can. Um... But it's easier to do on your computer than on than on your phone. Um, but don't worry, we have a um, we have a lot of mods, <laughs> so we're okay. <laughs> I do appreciate the offer, though. I fixed it. Oh, am I aging up? Oh, he's aging up. Hates children. Okay. Wait, loves cats, hates children. I think that's kind of fun. Maybe we can move him out and he can just have like five cats. No, I, okay. I love that. I love that a lot. All right. This is good. This is good. <laughs> that's really fun. Okay. Um, we need, oh my God. I don't like this look at all. We got to fix this one. Penguin, I am so proud of you. Congratulations. Uh, and Michelle, thank you for the $10 the same June, too. Thank you so much. I'm on my laptop. What's the boot button? <laughs> okay, Dad, so um, when you click on a username, there's like a ban button and a timeout button. You can do it that way. It's a bit slow. You can also, um, in your chat settings, turn on mod view um, if you'd like to. That is That is also an option that is available to you. Um, we want him to love cats. I think I'm going to keep it. I'm sorry. Perhaps we can wear... No, that is ridiculous. That is absolutely- what? Did any, uh, styled looks come with cats and dogs? Mm. Oh yeah! New there you go! Lenard. Edward Cullen was my first crush and Vicky, thank you both for those donations to St. Jude! <laughs> okay, um, any other cats and dogs ones? I guess I could have filtered by whatever, he can just wear this. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, that is not fine. Do we get any from cats and dogs? I'm just gonna filter. Oh, there's a party uh, look. Okay. This is fine. <laughs> Tara, thank you for the $20 to St. Jude too. Um, ew. No, wait, I pressed the wrong button. Um. Oh, we can wear this look. Oh, do you know what? That's quite nice. Vicky, thank you for the four months. <laughs> okay, um, I guess this is not a cold weather outfit. Leonard. Aww. Well, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> He's perfect. Clayton, thank you for the dollar to St. Jude, too. Thank you so much. Already looks old. Well, he he has a very um, interesting style. Anyway, I... Where is he? Well, we're home now. You can work on a skill, maybe? Don't go in the pond! Oh, he's feeding them. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, sorry. I got scared that he was gonna go into the pond. <laughs> the second he aged up, I got... <laughs> I got scared he was into the pond already. <laughs> okay, we're fine. False alarm. Um, look, I understandably got nervous, but I'm pretty sure that the teens won't die like that. I'm pretty sure. 
Because I tried before and they wouldn't die in the pond as a teen, so we should be okay. Air pressure rocketry, maybe? <laughs> Move to Solani to get a mermaid partner for Clayton and then <laughs> kill the mermaid so I can have the gravestone? <laughs> you <laughs> Hang on. You're telling me that you want me intentionally to go find a mermaid to date just so I can kill them and then have Clayton go on into <laughs> to live by himself with a bunch of cats for the rest of his life? Okay. Because I think I would like to have a mermaid gravestone. Actually, now that I think about it. So fine, yeah. Okay. Cactus, thank you for the bits. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> we do have fun around here. <laughs> okay. Well, we're just gonna work on our skills a little bit then. And then, luckily, Clayton has... All my sims are named Clay, by the way, in case you missed that part. <laughs> all three of them. <laughs> so you're not getting confused. Um, they just all have the same name. You didn't miss anything. <laughs> Rainbow, thank you for the sub gift. <laughs> well, Esme, uh, Clay's not the heir. Um, Clay La is the heir. So, we wanted her to be the heir because she's named after me. So... <laughs> Alley Cat, Clauden, thank you for the for the donations to Saint Jude too. <laughs> mermaids don't have special tombstones. Do mermaids not have special tombstones? Well, obviously the mermaids can't drown. We know the mermaids not gonna won't get eaten by piranhas. That's just a lost cause. That one won't work no matter how hard we try. <laughs> Maybe I'll go for a short walk with the dog. I know it's a bit rainy, but that would be good. Gray, uh, Anna, thank you for the resubs, too. Thank you so much. Mermaids do have a gravestone that's special. Well, they float. If you put it in a puddle, it'll float. I know that I know that the gravestones in Sulani float like that, but does that mean that it'll actually, like, if I put the gravestone in my front yard, will it actually look cool? Well, yeah, Laura, I think it- there is a gravestone, like, when it's on water in Sulani, it's special and has, like, a life raft or what- like, the, the or round orange thing. Um, but isn't that just when it's on the water? I don't know. <laughs> uh, K4, thank you for the two months. Thank you so much. And Gamer Girl, thank you for the 12 months. Break, thank you for the bits. Thanks, everybody. I don't know. We'll do it anyway just to test. Destiny, thank you for the ten dollars to Saint Jude too. Um, yeah, I think it's only on water, Laura, but I don't remember. I haven't. I don't know if I've had a mermaid die yet. So, did, did, is that Vlad that called? I think I saw. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, and he stepped in dog poop. Well, that's a you problem. Well, now what? <laughs> Do you want to get some food? Okay, maybe maybe now is a good time for us to actually invite over Gerald and try and flirt with him. Take thank you for the sub gift too. Thank you so much. Um, come on. Let's go, Gerald. It's party time. Tell a funny story. Talk about dreams? Okay, can you please leave me alone? <laughs> I'm sorry, I know you're like my brother and stuff, but... <laughs> Maybe we can take a bath, it'll take longer. Why is there one weird gravestone? Uh, that's my vampire. Don't worry, that's just Vlad. Two Geralds? Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed, two Geralds. <laughs> King, thank you for the $10 Saint Jude, too. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. We're exchanging numbers. Then I will flirt. Possibly compliment appearance. 
According to the wiki, mermaids are the only non-temporary occult type to use the normal gravestone. Oh, well, that's upsetting. <sighs> fine. That's fine. I'm not upset. I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> Lauren, thank you for the 15 months. Maybe from, like, here on out, we can have, like, every... I don't really want to marry someone. I hate to say it, but I don't really want to marry, uh... <laughs> And a cult and have kids with them. <laughs> but we can have like the non air sims do it. You know, they can be the ones to marry the occults and kill them <laughs> for us. <laughs> See? Yeah, lots of the other occults have um, special gravestones. For some reason, the mermaids don't though. We're already kissing. Oh my gosh. Katie, thank you for the three months we sub. Moon Knight Lauren, thank you for 11 months. And drink water with the dollar to St. Jude. You make a good point. <laughs> no worries, I got you. <laughs> what are servos? They're the robots um, that came with university. So, the poor mermaids, they're not very good. <laughs> You must admit, the mermaids are not the best. <laughs> P and Amelia, thank you for the donations to St. Jude, too. Thank you so much. Uh, I, know, I was trying to explain this earlier. I'm not sure when we're gonna do the cake baking stream, like, because of technical issues. I need to, like, do a lot of setup for it. Because my internet's not very good. Down, like, I don't have good internet at all. And, like, obviously my computer's plugged in, like, ethernet, so it's fine. But I, I need to buy, like, a really long ethernet cable, I think, in order to stream from downstairs, is the problem. So I need to like figure out the logistical issues around the baking stream <laughs> and then we can do it. I just gotta figure that out first. So we haven't scheduled it yet. <laughs> I'll do it, I promise. I just gotta figure out like that stuff and like do some testing and then we can do it, you know? Cause that way it'll definitely work. Um, <laughs> uh, Shaman, thank you for the sub or for, and, and Sefi, thank you for the $10 to St. Jude. Evie, thank you for the $20 to St. Jude. Love for all peoples, thank you for the bits. Uh, and Tempestuous, thank you for the four months. Gabby, thank you for the four months. Thank you so much, everybody. Okay. He's sad because I didn't care about his birthday. <laughs> but that's not my fault, all right? How's that? How could I know? Um, can I ask you my boyfriend, maybe? Oh, stop trying to cook! Oh! I have to clean my... Oh, we're dating. Okay, now I'm gonna clean my habitat of my rat. <laughs> I keep forgetting I have a rat, I'm not gonna lie. Joshua, thank you for the 1111 to St. Jude, too. Thank you so much. Also, no, I'm pretty sure you can't have babies with the servos. Um, the robots, I, I doubt that you can have babies with them. I could be wrong, but I'm gonna go with probably not. Um, so... You cannot? Yeah, because they're robots. It doesn't, I, I didn't expect to be able to. Um, Justin, thank you for the five months, too. Okay, there's everything is a mess. Maybe we could have you here. Come use the bathroom, and then do you want to, like, resume the garden salad? <laughs> we made some extra food for everybody. Um, I'm sorry, is that mana furry? No, he just, he likes cats a lot. Thank you for the $1.37 to St. Jude, though. <laughs> Yeah, the spellcasters have good gravestones, too. I have seen that. Okay, do you know what? I ran the Roomba this morning, and I vacuumed this morning, and somehow, somehow, the house is still dirty. How does that make any sense? I Like, no matter what I do, there's just mess. Everywhere. <sighs> Steffi, thank you for the 131 to St. Jude! Wait, look at that! $135,500 even. That is a nice number. Perhaps one of the nicest numbers we've seen this whole time. <laughs> okay. I like that. Thank you very much for the donations to St. Jude. It sure would be terrible if anyone donated and ruined the number. Okay. So I just gave $10. Oh, it sure would be terrible if anybody clicked that donation link in chat. I would just hate that. I can't think of anything worse than if someone donated to St. Jude right now and ruined the number. <laughs> okay, let me, um, wait, did you not dry the laundry yet? Oh, oops. Okay, we need to 
add this stuff to the washing machine. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Wash the laundry. Come on. Thank you. Maybe he can eat this. It is sun made. I don't know. KMZ, thank you for the $50 donation to St. Jude. Thank you. So and thank you for the kind words. I really appreciate that. You are awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> have a baby with an alien dude from Star Wars? Ugh, I guess we could have an a alien baby from Star Wars. <laughs> I suppose you can't really go wrong with that kind of thing, huh? <laughs> okay, maybe I'll watch a movie. Oh my gosh, look at the dog. I love this game. <laughs> okay. Let me just get his fun up a little bit and then we'll go to bed. He doesn't work until kind of late, so. Yeah, like tomorrow, well, we don't even have work tomorrow. Oh no, we only work three days a week now? Eh. That is bad for me. That is really bad for me. <laughs> we gotta have him take up a hobby or something. We need some extra cash. Slim, thank you for the 1234 to St. Jude, by the way. Thank you so much. Um, you are awesome. <laughs> well, I guess... Who's calling? Someone has died. I don't even know who that is. Sorry. <laughs> I feel bad. I'm like, okay, I don't care. Some sim I don't know has passed away. Jay, backwards, thank you for the resubs. <laughs> Love day. Oh, this will be cute. We can spend some time with her, um, with her boyfriend. Oh, is he working on his thing? Oh yeah, we haven't worked on that much, have we? Okay, we'll do that now. Take up pumpkin carving as a hobby. Why are you sad? I'm not, sorry. I refuse to be sad about this. She doesn't even know him. She doesn't even know that person. <laughs> But we can go on a cute date with Gerald tonight. That'll be nice. Okay, well then... If you don't have to go to work... I can't even evolve any plants. Oh dear. Okay, well if you don't have work... I feel like the very least you could do is run around and harvest some things. He doesn't even go here. Hey Kayla, what's up? Because this way we can... Again, we want to save up an extra like 10k. I think at the very least... We need like 10,000 more simoleons to add to the house. When we make a new one, we need a little bit more cash. Oh my god. Jesse Omatic, thank you for the $127.66 to St. Jude. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, Mrs. Melly, Clay with the donations. Jess with the $31. Thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. What is going on right now? <laughs> I really appreciate that. Okay. We're running. We're going to harvest lots of things. I'm going to get rich. Lots and lots of things. Julie, thank you for the $10 of St. Jude, too. What happened? Is that dust? Oi. Maybe I can sell this stuff. And the kids' homework? I don't know. <laughs> They've got school soon. We'll be fine. Okay, what are you getting for me now, buddy? Okay, he dug up that. Do you want to dig up this? Anything else? Perhaps these? More money? I'm not going to bother with this. <laughs> I'm not going to bother with the mushrooms. It's only worth like 10 simoleons. Okay. Um, we got this. Everything is fine. I missed your bits, Cricket? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my god, you graduated from college today? Congratulations! Um, and Christy, thank you for the 21 month resub. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, also, even thank you for the $2 to St. Jude, too. Okay, I think we should have uh, gotten ourselves a little bit of cash here. So we should be okay. Not enough. <laughs> Not enough cash, but more than we had before. Oh, actually, 719 is not so bad. We're getting there. We're getting there. Maybe I will start the cleaning routine and then get some leftovers because there's dust everywhere. Funny display name. Thank you for the $20 to St. Jude. And uh, Kira, thank you for the 134 to St. Jude. You can dress me as Lisa Pancake's pa 
<laughs> Wait. My dad says you can dress me as Lisa Pancakes if you raise 150k. As Lisa Pancakes? <laughs> we give my... No, 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 hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Dad, dad, I don't... Let me show you Lisa Pancakes. He said Lisa. Her name's Eliza, but Lisa works too. Lisa's the knockoff, which is what we'll look like when we dress up as Eliza. <laughs> Let me show you Lisa Pancakes here. Hang on. Shannon, thank you for the 2034 to St. Jude. And Jenny, thank you for the 10 dollars to St. Jude too. Thank you so much. Uh, let me show you Lisa Pancakes here. <laughs> Dad, so the reason I, I said I would do this Eliza Pancakes cosplay, um, is because people always say I look like her. So, Dad, we can buy you a green tank top. <laughs> and some glasses. <laughs> and dress you up like Lisa. <laughs> we can get him a wig, too. No. Okay, wait. Hang on. So I'll do, I'll dress up as Eliza as well. I mean, the joke is that I already look like her. So <laughs> don't you always dress up as Eliza Pancakes, Kayla? But if we could get my dad to do it as well. <laughs> he said, wait. No, 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 no. You already offered. You said you dress up as Lisa. So <laughs> it's like a competition. <laughs> the Eliza and Lisa contest. Jesse, thank you for the 15 gifted subs. Um, Anya, thank you for the $15 to St. Jude. Catherine and Shan, thank you for the resubs as well. Thank you so much. And the purple flip-flops. <laughs> too late, Mr. Sims. I haven't screenshotted. Oh, you said it. Now it's too late. Okay, so hang on. I promised that if we raised $150,000 for St. Jude, I would do this Eliza Pancakes cosplay. Apparently now my dad's in it too. I'm gonna do some shopping tonight. I'm real. Oh, I'm really excited about this. <laughs> Clint, thank you for the bits. <gasps> Did I just close the game instead of? Sorry, I just closed the entire game. <laughs> I was trying to go back to the main menu. I closed the whole game. One moment, please. <laughs> One moment, please. <laughs> We're coming back, Clint. Thanks again for the bits, though. Um, is it, lo it load? 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 Show it. Show it. Stinky the Chinchilla. Um, Lady Potato got the first COVID vaccine today. That is awesome. Um, thank you so, so, so much. I'm really proud of you. I'm really excited for you. And Nestor, thank you for the $10 to St. Jude, too. Um, just got done babysitting three Rottweilers, including a puppy. <laughs> Welcome to my parents' everyday life. My parents have three Rotties. <laughs> It's a lot. That's a lot of dog. A lot of big dog. But they're fun, right? <laughs> Lisa Pancakes. Thank you for the dollar to St. Jude, too. <laughs> I'm just picturing, like, me and my dad in the same, like, tank top <laughs> dressed up like Eliza Pancakes. Although, I don't know if, um, we can buy the same tank top. We'll definitely get two green tank tops. It's just that me and my dad are very different. <laughs> I swear, my dad's like one arm is the whole is the whole size of my whole body. <laughs> I'm a little noodle person. <laughs> it's a who wore it better exactly. Lisa Pancakes, thank you for the donation as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Oh, let me take care of the laundry before I forget. Unload and put the laundry away. Come on. Come on. Hello? Emily, thank you for the $50 to St. Jude. Sierra, thank you for the $30 to St. Jude. And Lisa, thank you for the $169. They said, can Snap dress as the piranha? Okay, so we get my cat a fish costume. <laughs> and then we give me and my dad the Eliza Pancakes costumes. Clean the lint tray. Don't do anything stupid. Um, Leah, thank you for the bits, too. <laughs> uh. Okay. Um, where's the dog? I might- I need to play with the dog. I'm scared the dog is gonna run away, so I want to play with it. 
so it knows that I love it. Oh my god, Scuba, thank you for the $100. Oh! <laughs> thank you for the $100 donation to St. Jude. $136,000, by the way. Thank you so, so, so much. <laughs> Shan, I'm just saying Eliza's into fitness. I mean, that's true. And Malone, thank you for the bits as well. <laughs> it's too late, there's screenshots. And Clint, thank you for the donation. <laughs> Put my dad in full Eliza pancakes drag- No, there's no way I could do that. There's no way I could pull that off. I can't even do, like, regular makeup on myself. Let alone drag makeup. I- I am incapable. <laughs> I am not talented in that way. <laughs> this is a talent I do not possess. I am not good with makeup. <laughs> I wish. Oh, candidly, Kayla- Kayla, thank you for the $100 donation to St. Jude, too. Requesting a dollar train for Lisa Pancakes. I mean, you make a good point here. If every person here donated just one dollar to St. Jude right now, we would be significantly closer to Lisa Pancakes. <laughs> Could my sister do it? My sister's better at makeup than I am, um, for sure. But, I don't know. This is funny. <laughs> Dollar train for Lisa! Can we spam that donation link in the chat there? If those of you are uh, just coming in, maybe you didn't know what St. Jude is. Um, we're, we're doing this whole big event. We're, we're joking around and, and laughing about Eliza Pancakes. But really what we're doing is raising money for St. Jude. It's a, it's a children's research hospital here in the U.S. Um, and most importantly, this money goes directly to paying for the treatments of those kids. Because every patient at St. Jude will never pay a dime for their treatments. The families of St. Jude kids never get sent a bill for anything from St. Jude. We're talking like down to food, uh, a place for the family to stay if they have to travel to come there. I mean, St. Jude covers literally everything. And St. Jude is entirely funded by donors like all of you. So this money goes directly to helping those kids. So thank you, thank you so much, everyone, for this. Um, and uh, let's let's do an Eliza Pancakes cosplay. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to run around. I came here because I wanted to see if we could, like, har harvest some more things. Like, dig up some more stuff. Because I still really badly want to build a new house. So I just kind of want to run around and see if we can scrounge up enough money to get the new house soon. Because I want to- I keep saying I wanted to have like 10000 in the bank before I build the new place. Because I want to have- one, the house is going to depreciate in value when I have to delete stuff. But two, like, we want to have some extra cash to get like a nicer place, you know? So, um, ideally, <laughs> we will need a little bit more money than we have right now. <laughs> to be fair, like... Eventually, um, eventually, we're gonna be able to sell, like, a lot of the furniture in the house, because we're gonna, like, get rid of, you know, like, as soon as Clayton leaves, we'll have an empty bedroom, you know, so that'll help save some money, too. Lisa Pancakes all the way down, Solo Seeker, Katie, Riley, Lisa, a dollar for Lisa, Mitza, Lisa again, <laughs> choo choo! Um, thank you all for the donations to St. Jude, by the way, and Monty, <laughs> Uh, and I asked THC, thank you for the resubs. Thanks, everybody. Um, alright, how are we doing? We got a little bit of money. Can I breed these frogs? Ten small, okay. <laughs> all aboard the Lisa train, Hellcath. Um, Brittany, thank you. <laughs> Bunch of anonymous donors, too. Thank you all so much for the donations to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Um, okay, well, we have a little bit more cash. <laughs> Barely any, though. Oh, no. Okay, what if we, like, look for frogs a bunch of times? Mr. Simsy's flip-flops, Herlinda, <laughs> Shelly, Rebecca, Millie, on the way to 250k, uh, Rachel and Kay, thank you all for the donations to St. Jude, too. Thank you so much. The potions? They're not worth any, unfortunately. They're worth zero, which sucks. Um, but the potions aren't worth much at all. Um, but they're good to have on hand. But yeah, the potions are not a, a real money maker. <laughs> That's true. Posters in the city is a good thing to go try and collect. BK Bree for Lisa and Hufflepuff. Forget Lisa, I want a drinking stream. <laughs> Sefi, thank you for the donations to St. Jude, too. <laughs> I did say, th this is a long shot by far, um, but I did say if we raised $250,000 by the end of the month, including the shirt sales, that I would do a drinking stream. So, I mean, it's possible. <laughs> By the way, if you missed it, um, I got an update on the shirt sales yesterday. You are not going to believe this. Um, 
So I got uh, a message from the people at Design by Humans telling us how many shirts we've sold and like how much we've raised for St. Jude with the shirts alone. That's an extra $15,000 on top of this number, by the way, just from the shirts. <laughs> Um, so if you want one of those, uh, we're, we're working, St. Jude and Designed by Humans team, teamed up with a bunch of creators to, like, make St. Jude merch this year. Um, and, like, that money from the merch goes directly to St. Jude from that. And we've sold $15,000 worth of them. I cannot believe that. I, like, can't wrap my head around that. Um, so that is super cool. And we can link those shirts in the chat if you'd like to get one. Um, they're only available until the end of May. Um, so if you'd like one, now is a good time to grab one. Don't feel like you have to, but if, if you'd like to, to grab one, um, you are welcome to. <laughs> I would simply not complain. <laughs> oh, there's no posters. Oh. <laughs> there's, there's no posters. Oh, do you know what? What if my- hang on. You know how if your sims have a high fitness skill, they- they, uh, last longer? They don't die as fast as elders? What if I make him dream big a bit, so that he- he lasts longer as an elder? <laughs> well, I'm here! I might as well. <laughs> Sabrina, evil twin, Lisa Waffles! Lisa Waffles! Eliza Pancakes and Lisa Waffles! This is ridiculous! <laughs> Dollar Train, uh, Lisa Pancakes, KK Sarah, um, Lisa Crepes! <laughs> Tidy Sims, thank you for the donations to St. Jude! <laughs> Don't you have to max it? Do you really have to max it all the way for it to work? I don't think I knew that. Maybe you do. I don't know. Um, a tech guru? No, I don't want to do that. I don't have any skill. Dessa, Olivia, Corey, Ida, thank you for the resubs, or the, not the resubs, the donations to St. Jude. What am I saying? And Sloth, thank you for the two months too. Thank you so much. Is that fountain base gamer from the kit? Which one? This one? Uh, this one's from City Living, actually. It's it's not from the kit. This is from City Living. Um, I guess it's kind of similar because it's got like the tile and the flowers, but it's it's different from the kit one. The kit one is smaller. Um, <laughs> Patrick for Lisa Dessa, thank you for the again for the donations to Saint Jude. <laughs> thank you so much. You think the chat is slow, Mango? That's like a miracle. Honestly, you should have been here yesterday. We could barely read anything. It's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good thing. <laughs> um, yesterday was was a big stream. Um, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. That that kind of happens sometimes when we do the um, when we do like the one building streams, but two also like streams on like pack release days. <laughs> There's a lot of people here. <laughs> didn't mean it in a bad way. Mango, um, I know you didn't, I didn't take it in a bad way, but just like for future reference, um, that's kind of like a, a really rude thing to say in Twitch chats. <laughs> but like, don't worry, I'm not upset. Like, it doesn't bother me. I think it's a good thing. <laughs> I'm fine. Um, but just, you know, like when you go to like maybe a smaller streamer and you're like, oh, your chat is so slow. Like, even if you don't mean it in a bad way, like a lot of times it, it kind of comes across in a bad way, so. Um, just future reference. Same thing with, like, view count. A lot of people don't realize this, but commenting, like, why don't- you have no viewers today, what's going on? Like, <laughs> or, you know, your chat's really slow right now, nobody's watching you. Um, like, it kind of- I think it hurts people's feelings sometimes, even if you don't mean for it to. Um, sometimes it comes across like, oh, your channel's dead. <laughs> so... <laughs> meant the slow mode? Oh, you meant the slow mode? Oh, you think our slow mode is too high? You're not- Mango, I'm not offended in it by any means. You're fine. Um, but you think the slow mode is too high? Interesting. I'm going to the museum on a date. Um, you're fine. I'm not, like, yelling at you, Mango. Don't worry. Um, I just mean this is, like, a general PSA for, like, those of you that maybe don't watch a lot of streamers. So you know for the future. Um, like, the- what's the wrong thing to say in a Twitch chat? <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, because I don't want you to get in trouble or anything. Um, or upset anybody. Evie, thank you for the $100 to St. Jude, by the way. Annalisa, um, thank you so much. Dakota, thank you for the 169 to St. Jude. Your friend's brother had cancer, and he went to St. Jude, and he's in high school. Now, that's awesome, Dakota. Um, I'm so glad to hear he's doing great. Thank you for the donation. Um, and Cacti, I love you. I'm so sorry for your loss, but thank you for the donation to St. Jude, too. 
Thank you so, so, so much. Um, okay. Yeah, actually, that is a plan that I have, Jenny. At the end of our, our charity event this month, um, something that I wanted to do was try and build a house, like, at the very end, right, like, the last day. <laughs> Maybe not the last day, one of the last days, I was thinking about trying to build a house with the total number of simoleons that the- that we have raised, you know? Well, we've raised more than simoleons, we've- <laughs> we're raising real-life dollars. Um, but I was thinking about doing a build where, like, the challenge is to have the budget be the exact number that we raised, you know? So, like, if we raise $136,588, the house has to cost exactly $136,588. <laughs> Because I think that would be kind of funny. We'd be like sitting there trying to scramble like I need to find a thing worth 12 simoleons to put down like I think that could be fun. So That was part of the plan. Oh, Michelle. I'm glad you liked it. Thank you for the $20 St. Jude too. Um, and sh hi Shanna. My sister's in the chat <laughs> We gotta make it hard for Kayla donate. There you go <laughs> The more uh, expensive house you'd like um, the more donations you should <laughs> give. Okay, I kind of want to have them go sit and chat. So we can work on this. We need Drag Lisa Pancakes, Queen Colleen, Real Life Dollar, uh, Michelle. If only Tracy Mattel could do Dad's makeup, Patrick and Rachel, thank you. Um, uh, and Kai as well, the donations. I'm sorry if I missed any. Oh my gosh, I'm doing my best. <laughs> What the, what, wait, your little brother is a big fan and he had to write about who his hero is for class and he wrote about how I inspire him to be creative and kind? You're joking. This, that is like the single greatest compliment I've ever received in my entire life that you're gonna make me cry. Tell your brother I think that he is amazing and so cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, and Sarah, thank you for the $300 donation to St. Jude and Riley with the 20 What is going on? <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, sorry. I need to um, discuss sad mood. We're on a lovely date. <laughs> Have Sims become playful? I don't think he will. Oh, you can't see this. Look. Um, I realize you can't tell, but... Um, where's my... He's very sad. <laughs> I think one of his his family members must have died, and that's why he's upset. So I can't very easily um become playful. I don't think. <laughs> for some reason, I I don't expect that he's gonna want to do that. Hey, Katie, thank you for the seventeen months. Thank you again, Sarah, for with the three hundred dollar donation to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Um, in real life, dollar. <laughs> thank you for the dollar. And dollar train Lisa biscuits. Thank you for the dollar to St. Jude too. Oh my goodness. The family tree? Yes, well, let me show you. Um, here was my, my founder. This is what we've got right now. <laughs> also, if you look at this, um, right now, we are on the fourth generation. <laughs> like, on two branches. Um, we, so he ended up marrying, well, marrying, well, we got engaged to Elise, and then we put her in the pond, but um, Elise is actually the long-term descendant of Kato and Jenna Akiyama from Snowy Escape. She was Gen 3, so this Sim is actually Gen 4, and she turned out so pretty for being Gen 4 on both sides of her family. Like, how is that even possible? Oh, wait! $137,000 for St. Jude, by the way! <laughs> Can you believe we've pressed this button 137 times? I've been thinking about that. Isn't that wild? <laughs> 137 times? For the kids, thank you for the $50 to St. Jude. Um, and if only Trixie Mattel could give Dad a makeover. I'm telling you, I am obsessed with Trixie Mattel. By the way, the reason they're saying that is because Trixie Mattel follows me on Twitter and replied to one of my, one of my, my, one of my tweets recently. Oh. Can't speak. <laughs> Rotisserie chick, thank you for the sub gift too. Oh! Nice. Shanna says, Kapow! Not like this, Kappa. Heart. Bible thumb. Heart. Smiley face. <laughs> Shanna. You just learned how global emotes work, Shan? <laughs> Frona, Willow B, um, thank you for the donations. Um, that's a good idea, by the way, um, as well. Thank you for the dollar to St. Jude. And Frona, you've got bad cramps. I'm so sorry. I love you. Do you, got, do you have a heating pad or anything you could use? Maybe a hot water bottle? Um, I can't become playful or- can I kiss my- well, I'm flirty now. Can I kiss my date passionately? 
passionate kiss. You're a teen. Do you happen to know any uh, mermaids for my brother to date? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any, any mermaids, maybe? So wait, thank you for the eight months, too. Thank you so much. Um, okay, well, maybe we should leave. Maybe I'll end the date. We had a very successful love day. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. Oh, wait. No, I'm gonna... Go dig up. things. <laughs> I'm just thinking while I'm here, I might as well go try and find some stuff to sell. If we want to build a new house, we should get a move on with this. Um, Clint, thank you for the bits. That was a good idea too. Uh, KG and my dog Gertie, thank you for the donations to St. Jude as well. Thank you so much. Clayla's outfit? Actually, I think her top is from Realm of Magic and her skirt is from Romantic Garden stuff. I think. If I remember correctly. <laughs> Um, uh, someone in chat might know better, but that's- I'm pretty sure her top is from Realm of Magic, right? I think she looks cute. I think she looks really good in this outfit. Um, don't mind me. I'm just trying to dig up literally everything. <laughs> Cass and Cleo, thank you for the $5 St. Jude, too. The game pack announcement? Ariana, I am so excited. We were talking about this earlier. If you missed it, The Sims teased uh, the game pack they're announcing tomorrow. The trailer's coming out tomorrow. And it sounds like it's gonna be an interior design pack from the teaser. Like with an interior design career. Which I, oh my God. I think this might be the most excited I've been for a game pack literally ever. I am so excited about this. So the trailer comes out tomorrow. We don't actually know what it is yet. It comes out tomorrow, the trailer, so we can see then. Um, but that's what it seems like from the teaser. So <laughs> I am really looking forward to that trailer tomorrow. I cannot wait. Bexy, I'm not sure. The phone calls that I get offering me new jobs, I think they might be from Get Famous, but I don't know. Does anyone in chat know? Oh yeah, way more excited than Parenthood. I mean, I love Parenthood, but I wasn't this excited about it before it came out. Like, this pack, I am genuinely so excited about. Like, I love Parenthood. It's a really good pack, but I wasn't, like, looking forward to it as much as I am looking forward to this. Okay, I'm sorry. I just need to... You're gonna die if you don't put on some cold weather clothes. <laughs> Look for frogs. Dig. Anyway, I've, I've been excited for, like, um university and seasons like i literally cry when they announce seasons like i've been excited for sims packs but as far as game packs go i think this is the the most excited i have ever been for a game pack i'm so looking forward to this um let me sell all this stuff okay we're getting there 10 simoleons okay <laughs> 10 simoleons good that's great um, it's not announced yet, Sarah. Um, they, they just teased the game pack on Twitter. I'll show you. Let me pull it up. Uh, they teased the game pack on Twitter. They're, the trailer and the announcement is tomorrow, but they teased it. Um, and from the teaser, it seems like... Let me pull up the Sims Twitter. Um, the, the teaser is a pretty obvious one. <laughs> Wait, let me pause my game before I do anything silly. Okay, um, so they posted this tweet, right? Seeking creatives with a link to the trailer premiere that's coming out tomorrow. Find out more May 20th, 8 a.m. Pacific, that's 11 a.m. Eastern time, um, which is 4 p.m. in the UK, if that helps you. Um, and it's Nancy Landgrab saying, I need a walk-in closet big enough to accommodate my ego, something sleek and modern. And then looking to turn an entire dining room into a painter's studio. And then my wife wants a playroom on a budget and it has to be purple, can you help? So it sounds to me <laughs> like it's an interior designer career. Um, also, this the video is not out. There is no video. It just takes you to the premiere. So this is like what the video link will be tomorrow when it premieres. Um, so there isn't a video yet to watch. It just is this. Um, but it comes out tomorrow. It's a game pack. It'll be a game pack. I'm looking forward to this so much. And I feel like... So The Sims 3 had an interior designer career from Ambitions. And I like... I found um, a lot of the Ambitions careers really hard to play with in The Sims 3, um, but the active careers in The Sims 4 are so good. So, like, 
I have really high hopes for this. <laughs> um, I'm really excited about this. Megan and Uwu, thank you for the donations to Say Jude, by the way. <laughs> anyway, I just, I can't wait. I, this is like beyond my wildest dreams. Like more than I could ever have hoped for in The Sims. And I'm, I'm dead serious about that. I genuinely cannot wait. Oh, I might have... Do you know what? You're gonna clean up the house. You're gonna vacuum <laughs> after you shower. <laughs> Super Amber, thank you for the prime sub. <gasps> so, oh my gosh. I, I'm not gonna lie. I still like fangirl a little bit every time I see a sim guru in my chat. I'm dead serious. <laughs> every time. <laughs> Okay, let me just finish vacuuming so I get rid of the dust bunnies fast. Okay, come on. Oh. Ew! Look, the laundry's like sweating! Eek! No, 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 that is very gross. Okay, let me... <laughs> let me do the laundry really fast. Ew! Okay, wash the laundry and then put the clean stuff away. I do a really bad job of keeping up with laundry in this game. <laughs> the thing is, Kayla, he probably was vacuuming the bed. The Sims- How is it back already? What? I- Now there's more laundry sweating! I just washed it! I- <sighs> Okay. <laughs> oh. It's a vampire ghost. That's not what I wanted. Go- Go away. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Love day was awful. Okay, grow up. Grow up. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> it's almost Clayla's birthday? What? <gasps> yeah, vampires can die a few different ways. Um, <laughs> Vlad happened to get left out in the sun too long. I tried to drown him, but it didn't work. I don't think the vampire- I- I'd have to get this confirmed by somebody who, like, actually knows. Um, but it sounds like, from our understanding in chat and stuff, that we don't think that vampires can drown. Cause, like, they don't breathe or something. So I tried to drown Vlad lots of times in this pond. Um, was not successful. So I simply just left him out in the sun. <laughs> no, Clayla is just a teen. She's not an adult or anything. Um, she's just a teen. Don't worry. <laughs> she's not like an adult. Um, Ella, thank you for the $10 to St. Jude memory of your friend. Thank you so much. I love you. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. The pond? Oh, the pond comes from Get Famous. One of my favorite packs, I must admit. Just for the pond. I, I don't really use Get Famous much for anything else. <laughs> to be honest, I never really use fame at all, but the pond! You know, the pond is where it's at. Um, that one we use often. <laughs> Scandalous, thank you for the three months. This isn't my Nightmare Legacy from YouTube. This is a, a different one. So I have a YouTube Let's Play that I'm doing, and we have a Twitch uh, Legacy Challenge that we're doing as well. This is the Twitch one. Um, but both are a bit nightmarish, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, dollar train. Thank you for the dollar to sing to, too. Um, Sims Love, this is the link. If you would like to donate, there's a link right here. Don't feel like you have to, but if you would like to, this is that link. Oh, hang on. I've just been uh, complained to by Duck Dan. Apparently, I never accepted my friend Cam's Steam friend request. <laughs> I did it now. <laughs> I don't check my Steam from requests. It's not my fault. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I need to come and use the bathroom before he pees his pants. Allie, thank you for the five dollars to Saint Jude, and thanks for coming by the stream again. I really appreciate that. Oh, I need to play with my uh, my dog before it runs away as well. Good point. Maybe I'll take it for a short walk. That could be nice, right? Right? Okay, team, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda wanna build a new house. Oh, wait. 
No, we haven't- we should have enough money to do it. Look. <laughs> Look at all this money we've got sitting right here. Okay, we're close to having enough money to do it. I don't know what I want it to look like, though. And here's the thing, like, I really love the furnishings that we have. Like, I really genuinely love the interior of this house. We just kind of need a bigger exterior, like, we need a- we need a bigger... space. Um, you know? I guess we could probably just- we honestly probably should keep a lot of the furniture anyway, because we don't have that much money. <laughs> We're not, like, made of cash, okay? So, keeping the furniture might be the best bet, especially with stuff like this. Like, this is expensive, these beds and everything. And then we can keep the pool. I don't know, that could be good. And see, I need to keep pictures of my pets. Don't want to lose those, that would be terrible. Would hate to lose all this furniture from my kids' room. <laughs> Oh, he's not a kid anymore. We can probably sell some of the kids' stuff. Oh, wait. Yeah, like, let's get rid of that. We'll get rid of the toy. <gasps> 10,000. See? There you go. I have the 10k I wanted. <laughs> there you go. Oh, she doesn't need this toy anymore either. Okay. Okay. So, I think... Oh, I don't have a cat anymore. I've got a dog, so I don't need the litter box either. Okay. Well, some of this landscaping, like most of it's debug landscaping anyway, so. New world? Well, I actually want to keep this spot, so I don't know if you can tell, but this, um, this lot is called Potter's Splay, usually. Um, this, this lot that we're playing on, and my Sims family's last name is Potts. <laughs> So it makes me laugh that the lot is, like, sort of named after them. Um, so I kind of want to keep living here on this lot. <laughs> You're getting a kitten, Kayla? Wait, really? On the 28th? <gasps> no! Ha do you have pictures? Can you send them to me? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I love cats. This is big. Um, Auk, thank you for the $3 St. Jude. Dollar Train Chat, Silas, Super Amber, Yo-Yo the Small, Lexi. Thank you all for the donations to St. Jude, and Lex and Megan, thank you for the- for the resubs. Leah, I hope everything's okay, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, thank you for the bits. I can't wait to see the pictures, by the way, that makes me so happy. I love cats. <laughs> okay. Oh, I almost forgot my toilet paper, that would be terrible. Well, we can't have that. We can't be forgetting the toilet paper. <laughs> that would just be awful. Anything but the toilet paper. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Honestly, I think we could probably just leave the backyard. And we can leave the grave. Like, I'm- I think I'm just gonna leave- like, this might seem a bit silly to you. But... I think I'm just gonna leave, like... <laughs> this stuff, like this. And then, um... <laughs> we can, um... Build around it, you know? All we need is the pond, really. Do I have baby pics of Snappy? No, I don't have ma well, I have baby pictures of my cat, Snap, but I don't have any on my phone right now that I could show you very easily. Keep in mind, like, we got Snap in 2009. <laughs> so, um, we've- we've had Snap for- for a while. 2008. 2008. Yeah, so I don't have any, like, pictures of Snap on my phone from when she was a- a kitten. Um, check my Twitter. Oh my god. <gasps> no! Stop! I'm actually- I might cry. This is the cutest cat! I love orange cats. I think they are so adorable. Look at this little buddy! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> I'm so excited! No. Okay, look- look at the little face, too. This is the best day of my life. Thank you so much for sharing. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Shady, thank you for the $20 of St. Jude. And Little Dika, dollar train for who's excited about the upcoming game pack. <laughs> 
if you're excited about the new game pack for The Sims 4, can we get a dollar to St. Jude? <laughs> what will we name him? That Do you not have a name in mind yet? Oh my god. I... Th <laughs> I love cats. You know what? I love human names for cats. I speak as a person who has no pets after human names, but I, I think it's hilarious when animals have first names, like, that are, per like, a person's name. You know? <laughs> like, I just think that's so funny. But it's, it's a lot of pressure to name an animal, you know? Cletus? You can't, you can't make Kayla name her cat Cletus! <laughs> you can't! God, could you imagine a real cat named Cletus? <laughs> okay, I want to build something. We have not that much money. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, we have not that much money. Um, so this should be interesting. Kitty, thank you for the two months. Dollars for Orange Castle, the dollar, and sold with the Prime sub. Thank you so much. I want to have a second floor still. Um, maybe we can have more of a bigger porch. I don't know. Yeah, we need the telescope still. The telescope is really cheap, though. You'd be surprised. It's only worth 1,200 simoleons. So there's, like, no point in selling the telescope. <laughs> it's barely- it barely costs anything. So, like, the, the telescope is, like, a fine one to keep. Um, if anything could stay, like, it'll be the telescope. <laughs> um, because it's only- it's, like, worth nothing, basically. Um, House shaped like a cat. Okay. There's an option for sure. <laughs> I, I want to get a little bit bigger of a front area here because I, I want to have more space for my my pond. So I guess we'll need a significantly bigger front yard. Jewel, thank you for the $10 to St. Jude. Uh, and Rattling, thank you for the, $10, for the dollar to St. Jude too. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. Okay. Ron Whiskerly, oh my gosh. Alexandra, thank you for the <laughs> for the donation, or for the bits, I mean. God, I'm all over the place right now. Oh, do you know what I need to do really fast? Is get rid of the decorations that are on the house. Because it's bothering me. Take down decorations, there you go. Okay, so far we have a porch. <laughs> so far we've got a porch to work with. What are your thoughts on that, everybody? <laughs> Do you like our new house? <laughs> Hope that you enjoy it. Yeah, look, we have a really big front yard. This is kind of ridiculous. We'll probably have to have like a big, um, I don't know, the house can be, have a lot of space in the front of it there, which would kind of fix that problem. And look how much space we're gonna have for my gravestones. <laughs> <laughs> Look how much room for activity is. <laughs> Ella, Lexi, dollar train for new game pack. Please in the cat, Roger. Thank you for the donations to St. Jude too. <laughs> Roger. Okay, we have to move these things. I was gonna keep it, but I think it's gotta be moved. I don't think we can do it. It's becoming a bit odd what we've got back here. The house is gonna be significantly bigger this time, I think, though. Mark my words. Okay. Um. Maybe something like, like that size? Or too bigger? That is a large house. <laughs> that is a very large house. Okay. Um. Eee. What am I doing? Do you want to do something like that? This is like a classic Lil Simsy build. <laughs> this looks like every house I have ever built in this game. <laughs> it's very large. Um, actually, I kind of want to do it like this. I think. I have an idea. I think we should have enough money for this. We already have most of the furniture. 
So we should, it's not gonna be a blue suburban. The house was a blue suburban before. It's not much different. <laughs> Space Kitten Isabella, thank you for the donations to St. Jude too. Um, one, two maybe? It's always been a blue suburban. <laughs> this is nothing new. Oh. I'm just now realizing this is probably not gonna go over how I want it to. It's a little bit larger than I expected. Maybe one, two? Oh, that's fine. Or, well, make it skinnier. And then problem solved. The house needs to be smaller. It's This is ridiculous. Green suburban? Beige suburban? Okay. <laughs> Lots of ideas I see we have here. I think that's okay. Right? Make it purple? Well, that's a concept too. Well, that's definitely a possibility. Purple suburban. <laughs> um. I don't know. Do we like how that looks? It's like I said, a bit bigger than I was expecting. But it's okay. We needed a bigger house anyway. Chelsea, thank you for the five dollars to St. Jude too. Thank you so much. The pond is so weird. <laughs> like it just is so bizarre that I have this pond. I don't know. I, we have to keep it though, obviously. I mean, it's that's a no-brainer. It's not even an option to get rid of. But maybe one lower. This one can go. Oh, that's right. No, you can shrink the pond. It doesn't, um, it, it's, I don't think it'll function the way it's supposed to if we do that. The pond is a very important thing to showcase, all right? We can't be getting rid of the pond. If we're gonna get rid of anything, the last thing we're gonna get rid of is the pond. <laughs> the pond is the last thing on our list to go. No way. Um, all right, I think... I might get myself, like, a... Probably a porch over here, again. Should it be the same as the back, as the front, or is that weird? I don't know. Oh, what if, wait. What if there was like a two-story balcony on the back? Like there. That could be cute, right? This house is really large. <laughs> Let me make it smaller. <laughs> I think the idea of a little balcony back there could be really nice. Um, I think it would be a good use of the space as well. Okay. <laughs> ooh, ooh, Pia, um, Watcher, Chelsea, your cat is cute too with a link to a picture of your cat. Oh, I'll look at it later. That's awesome. And Gail, thank you for the 14 months as well. Okay. That'll be fine. And then we can have like a little fenced in yard and stuff. Oh, it's a much bigger fenced in yard than before. Anyway, we were thinking about having a greenhouse earlier, but now I'm not so sure about the greenhouse. Like now I. Because here's the thing, I, my sim might get involved with, um, <laughs> my sim might, emphasis on might, do some gardening, but I kind of don't want to make a lot of money gardening. Like, I would prefer it if my sim did not get rich from gardening, um, which I realize may sound a little bit backwards to you, but I would rather have less money. <laughs> In an ideal world, my sim would have less money. <laughs> So, I don't know. Maybe we could do a greenhouse, but I don't think I want the money from the greenhouse. I think that's the problem. Okay, that is really bad. I think that could stay that way. If the house is too big on top, we could add a basement. 
If the house is too big, we can make it bigger? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> Maybe. We'll think about it. I gotta figure out the floor plan before we get too carried away here. Um, because... I think that... I want to have, like, four bedrooms at the very least here. I think that would be really nice. Um, can I make this go all the way to the end? Oh, why does it do that? Go away. All of you? All of it go away? There. <laughs> Basement would be cool. Maybe again. I don't. I don't want the house to be that big. <laughs> I don't know about a basement. I'm not so sure about that. Um, you mean like a basement for the plants, or just a, a basement in general? Um, cause greenhouse but full of graves. Oh, now now we're talking. <laughs> See, I feel like now you get me. <laughs> Guys, I think you're getting a little bit carried away. I hate to say it, but we have a lot less money than you think we do. <laughs> Evan, Kat, uh, Try, thank you for the resubs and bits, too. Um, thank you so much. Okay. No, no, no. <gasps> no! Maybe a graveyard? No, so, people keep suggesting that, um, but just, just so you're all aware. Um, I... <laughs> I keep my Sims, um, gravestones in the front yard for a reason. <laughs> like, I personally really like and think it's funny that I have a bunch of gravestones in my front yard. Um, people have been telling me to make a graveyard for, like, weeks. Uh, I don't want to because I think it's really funny that I have a graveyard in my front yard. That I just have all these graves just hanging out in my front yard. To me, that is really amusing. Um, so, <laughs> I kind of don't want to change that. <laughs> Like, I kind of want to keep them in the front yard. I- my goal is eventually to fill up the entire front yard with graveyard- with gravestones. Um, because I think that would be really funny. You know what I mean? <laughs> but again, we don't have that much money yet. We'll get more money slowly. But as of right now, we're not like rolling in cash or anything. So I think we need to be a bit careful about, you know, getting too far ahead of ourselves. Because we don't have that much to work with. Um, oh, maybe I'll put the... That could work there. Hmm. Chloe Small, thank you for the 353 to St. Jude. Um, thank you so much. I've definitely built this house before. <laughs> this is not my finest moment. It's definitely not a... Um, not that new, to say the least. <laughs> um, but we wanted to keep a lot of the furniture. No, we, we don't need- we don't have 16k to furnish. We have a lot of furniture already. Um, we have most of the furniture already. But the house is bigger. This- this house is bigger than before, so... We gotta keep that in mind. Um, but like, thank you for the 777 to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Um... Let me see. Um. Alright, I want to get some fence for our little balcony. The little balcony will be really cute, I think. Once we're done with it, it'll be a nice touch. I think we'd want the parents' bedroom to be off of the little balcony, too. Um. But we'll figure that out. Oh, Anonymous, thank you for the $100.69 to St. Jude, by the way. Thank you so much. <laughs> what the heck? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, this could be, like, the main bedroom. And then we could have, like... Oh. No, I don't know if we can have a- I think maybe no extra bathroom upstairs. So we have to have an extra bedroom. Um, stairs first maybe? Oh, I- I know where I want to put them. I- I'm sorry, I didn't like read this out. I didn't tell you where I wanted to put them, but I- I had in my head I wanted to put them over here. That's why I built the- <laughs> The thing this way. I kind of want to, um... 
have them be angled a little bit though was sort of what I was going for. Something like that, perhaps. Oh, you know what could be cool? If we had it open to the bottom, like that. I think this has very serious potential. Thank you very much. Drag that into the end. Okay. <laughs> Annabelle, thank you for the three month reset, by the way. Thank you so much. They always glitch for you. The open stairs might be glitched still, but we can always test it. <laughs> we can always test it. Um, this bedroom is very large. And very oddly shaped. But that's probably okay. They still don't work. Glitched how? As in, like, the sims don't go up them. Oh. That is quite sad. They're still glitched. Yeah, they don't go up the open staircases. But it looks so good. Still broken. Sad. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Um, let me see. Well, you know what? This could be a good spot to sneak a little desk. You know? Since when? <laughs> for like months? It's been broken for a long time. Um, Lucky Sam, Clara, thank you for the for the donations to St. Jude too. Um, it isn't that big of a deal. Um, if I put a piece of get to work fence in front of the railing instead of actual fence, we can try that. Um, but I've had this issue happening in, my, see they can walk over this fence for example. No. They work for me, just remove the fence? What do you mean remove the fence? It puts it back. If you delete the stairs and the railing where the stairs, it will work. You want me to do the stairs again? Wait, that's wrong. Stop. Remove the floor again after the stair fence and it will work. Oh. Oh. I went up the stairs. Okay. <laughs> Coco, thank you for the bits. Nick, Clara, Lucky Sam, thank you for the resubs and stuff. Well, well, there you have it. Um. Okay, I think we need to put a bathroom like this. That can be a bedroom. Um, I might even make the bathroom go like this. I think that could be nice. Okay. Oh, Starlene, thank you for the $100 to St. Jude. Um, Ubu, thank you for the 301 to St. Jude too. Thank you so much. Okay. This has potential. Now it's four bedroom, four bedrooms and two bathrooms. And two bathrooms isn't so bad. Um, that is fine to me. Where's the kitchen gonna go? <laughs> um, I guess, oh, you know what we could do? We have like a fake archway here. Kitchen along that. Small dining table. Living room. I heard bad things were happening to Vlad in here. No, no, Ninja. No, 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 no. Nothing happened to Vlad. Nothing. Nothing happened to Vlad at all. He's fine. <laughs> Vlad is doing just fine, okay? <laughs> Absolutely nothing to see here in my pile of gravestones. There is nothing going on, all right? <laughs> Haley, thank you for the seven months. Also, Coco, I'm so proud of you. That's awesome, by the way. Congratulations. Finishing illustrating a children's book, and you've got a big presentation for it. That's huge. Um, that is really, really cool. 
Okay, I wonder if... Well, I want to get my flooring down. Ah! Stop! <laughs> Amanda, thank you for the $600 donation. You said $100 for each year. My dad has lived with stage 4 lung cancer. He was diagnosed in 2015 and given two weeks to live. Six years later, he has seen my brother and I graduate both high school and college. Amanda, I am so, so glad to hear that. Thank you for the 600 You're going to make me cry. Thank you for the $600 donation to St. Jude. I'm sorry for this. <laughs> $138,000. Amanda, I love you. I am sending you and your family so much love. Thank you for the massive donation to St. Jude. I am so, so, so grateful for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god. You are all so incredible. Seriously, beyond words. I'm just, I'm so grateful for this. This, I, I know that I say this all the time and I keep like repeating myself, but St. Jude means so much to me, and I am so glad that you all, like, hang out with me and help me do this for them. Like, this- this means the world to me being able to do this, and I just- I'm so grateful for this. So thank you again. Like, from the bottom of my heart, thank you again. Um, okay. <laughs> Deep breaths. Everything is under control! I'm putting a railing on my stairs. Okay. Do you know what? This looks pretty good now. I kind of like the layout of this house. It's nice, isn't it? Antoinette, thank you for the Prime sub, too. Um, okay. We have 12k. <laughs> That's enough money to, to do this, right? Okay, bathroom, bedroom. Bedroom, bedroom, ensuite bathroom, bedroom door. Okay. And you know what's good about this is, because right now we kind of have, like, two generations living in this house, um, this way, like, we there's, like, two master bedrooms almost. Like, there's this one. And this one, this one's not an ensuite, but like this way, like, you know, both of the Sims, the heir and her dad will have like special bedrooms, you know? Um, okay, but I think, I'm sorry about this. This is not me wishing death upon any of my Sims. Um, <laughs> I just, we've been using a Murphy bed, so we still have one. <laughs> Antoinette, Ichung, and Madeline, thank you for the reset. Look, there's nothing going on here. Nothing weird at all. <laughs> it's just that we've- we've had this Murphy bed. <laughs> okay, it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, oh my god, it's- oh wait! We don't really have a lot of space for our laundry these days. We had a much bigger bathroom before. Mmm, we can make this work. This house is a bit of a downgrade in some ways, I'm not gonna lie. This house is a bit smaller than our other one is. Um, but that's okay. <laughs> Got the first dose of the vaccine today! Dill, that's awesome! Thank you for the $5 to St. Jude. Um, thank you so much. Okay, I might- oh, It's so laggy taking things out of the- The household inventory. Okay. Um, place it like right there. That's good. I need a door into this room. The, the rug is from backyard stuff, yeah. Do you think we should make this into another bathroom? I know it's a big one, but do you think this could be a bathroom and that could be good for us? Three bathrooms, four bedrooms is good. We don't really need an office so much. Um, I think that the bathroom is probably the best bet. Because... Ew. <laughs> oh. We maybe scoot it over a little? Is that weird? Hmm. I don't know. Sandwich Sierra? Thank you for the resubs. Yeah, this could be the laundry room bathroom combo. Because this one's a bit smaller. So it makes more sense to have it in here again. Um... Never seen laundry gameplay? Well, you're about to. <laughs> it's not, um, much different than you might expect it to be. <laughs> or anything. Um, okay. Scoot this over. Sunroom instead of bathroom? Well, again, like, you know, a sunroom would be nice, but I'm not sure if the sunroom is, like, a waste of space. Because keep in mind, again, like, 
This house is not the biggest house, but it is four bedrooms. So we've added an extra bedroom. I think that it probably won't hurt to add an extra bathroom. We only had two bathrooms before. And if we're gonna have like a bunch of kids, it might be nice to have some extra bathrooms. Um, I should save the game. It's being laggy, so. A hobby room? Maybe eventually. Guys, we don't- I'm not- I'm trying to make excuses to not do it, can you tell? <laughs> um, we- we might mess with it eventually and change it up, but for now, um, I think I'm gonna keep it the way it is, okay? Um, do you know what? Maybe I'll center this again. And then that- we can put the door, like, there, maybe? Mmm. Kathy, Strop Frog, thank you for the <laughs> resubs. I want another bathroom. I'm sorry. I just want another bathroom. <laughs> and BB's Girl, thank you for the $10 to St. Jude memory of your grandfather. Thank you so much for the donation to St. Jude. I'm I'm so grateful for you. Oh. I don't know what to do about this. Maybe if we just did two of them? We can stick them together. Like that. Well, it's a bit odd. You know, I feel like in an ideal world, you wouldn't have the TV right in front of a window, but I don't know. And Lark, thank you for the $20 to St. Jude in memory of your childhood friend. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm so grateful for you. Door in the kitchen? No, we can't do that because we're going to put the cabinets there. Um, I was going to have the cabinets like lined up around this way. So I'm not sure if putting it in the kitchen will, will work. <laughs> Because we wanted the cabinets to be here. <laughs> I was thinking about that at first, too. Um, but now I'm like, oh, wait. Yeah, we were going to put the, the bath or the kitchen cabinets here, so. Okay, this kitchen is bigger than before. And I don't really want to have the island counters anymore. Okay. Maybe that can be the oven. And then we can put... Oh, look how nice this is gonna be! I'm so excited about this build now. Will I change the color scheme? No, I still like this color scheme a lot. So we're basically just like upgrading the house and making it a bit bigger. And keeping the sim similar color scheme. We, we might up- like we might change the color scheme at some point in- like some point in the near future. But for now, I really like how the house looks still. So I don't really want to change it yet. <laughs> I just like the red and blue. I, I never have used this rug before, like in that color swatch, so I've kind of been having fun trying to trying to use it. So Oh. So laggy. <laughs> Miriam, thank you for the two dollars to St. Jude too. Where's the rug from? It's from the backyard stuff pack, actually. Oh, maybe the desk could go in this corner by the kitchen. Oh. You know what, maybe we could use the, um, hang on. Maybe we could, oh, since when do we have that? <laughs> maybe we can use that. <laughs> no, but we can use the parenthood chairs. Because we had the parenthood, um, bar stools before, but then we can still do the, I don't know, that's kind of nice. Yeah, we have the laundry in here already. <laughs> Don't worry, we got the laundry in there. Congrats on graduating, Miriam, by the way. And Abby and Trash, thank you for the resubs. How do I donate? There's a link in the chat, Abby, if you want to donate. Um, don't feel like you have to, but if you would like to donate to St. Jude, we can put that link in the chat for you. Um, thank you for wanting to donate at all. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, okay. Oh, do you know what else is nice? Is now we finally have, like, a cover on the patio. <laughs> so my sims aren't gonna, like, be miserable trying to play chess. <laughs> Because the patio's finally undercover. <laughs> See? That's nice. Okay. Let me get... Maybe I'll do them like this so we can have a window. Oops. Yeah, taking things out of the household inventory is so laggy for some reason. I don't know why, but it's really laggy trying to furnish with the household inventory. Um, Jess Glow, thank you for the resubs. One toilet paper for me. 
Um, we had this before in the bedroom, but I don't think we need that anymore, to be honest. So that's good. <laughs> yeah, honestly, the downstairs is like largely furnished. <laughs> the main living space, like, I'm not sure what more we can do. You redacted me and for what? I just wanted to donate to the kids, says Vlad's gravestone. Uh-oh. Vlad, I'm really sorry that I, um, eliminated you. You deserve better than that, Vlad. <laughs> Vlad the <laughs> vampire who I killed today. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay. Um, maybe I'll put this in one of the bedrooms. Yeah, I usually sell everything too, because I find it like very painful to like look through the inventory like this, but I, did, I was worried that we didn't have enough um, money to be doing that. <laughs> I wasn't- I'm like, listen, we don't- we are not high rollers. <laughs> we don't- we are not made of money. We can't be just running around selling everything in this. We murdered Vlad? No. No. I certainly did not murder Vlad at all. That would be absolutely ridiculous. Why would I do that? No. <laughs> I would- Certainly never ever do that to Vlad. It wasn't me, it was the sun. <laughs> it's not my fault, okay? The sun was just shining and Vlad was there. Sun bathing. Whiskers didn't pass away due to starvation, you're lying! It always lies to me and says that my rats have died when they actually haven't died. It's starting to get to me, I'm not gonna lie. It, it, it's continuous lies that it, it tells me. <laughs> Vlad did not die of starvation. Take it back. <laughs> Alex, for your grandma, thank you for the donation. Uh, T-Rex with the $25, the son murdered Vlad, and Kayla the Vampire Slayer. These are two conflicting donations. Um, also, Auslan, thank you for the $25 to St. Jude. <laughs> Jules, thank you for the three months. I did not kill Vlad. I did not, okay? I didn't. That is ridiculous. Why would I do that? Okay. Oh yeah, my my thing, Rick Ratsley is not dead. It's still in there. It's right there, see? Um, Peach, I love you. Thank you for the donation. Please don't apologize for not being more. A, a dollar is a big donation. Trust me. A, any donation to St. Jude is a, is a big donation to St. Jude. So never apologize for like only donating a certain amount. I'm, I mean that. I'm not kidding. Um, any donation is a very generous one, and that- those those donations add up. Any dollar donation adds up. I mean, if a hundred people give one dollar, it's a hundred dollars, like that, you know? So don't feel bad about that. Um, and Annabelle, thank you for the twenty dollar donation in memory of your aunt. Thank you so much. Um, I love you. Thank you so much. Okay, we might, like, let me just put all the furniture down for now. Like we were saying before, because I- I want to get out of the house of inventory, so if we can just get, like, all the main furniture placed. <laughs> Then we can stop being in the household inventory, and then we can, like, add on to the build, you know? So let's just place, like, the main furnishings um, here really fast. Oh, I had this in the front door. <laughs> Abby, thank you for the $70. Shake, thank you for the $250 donation to St. Jude. Oh my god, and the sun did it with the dollar as well. Thank you so much. Everyone, I really, I, I cannot emphasize enough how much good you are doing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, all of you, thank you so much. Um, sorry, let me just get my bag of money back on the- <laughs> Let me get my bag of money back on the nightstand here really fast, don't mind me. Um. <laughs> uh, no worries, just placing my bag of money and my clown painting. <laughs> Saying thank you for the $10 to St. Jude too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. His name is officially Pietro? You're joking, Kayla. <laughs> I mean, I can get behind that. I'm gonna be honest. Pietro is a great name. <laughs> okay, um... We can do the, the windows like that, maybe? That could be cute. I don't know. I don't know. Did I ever find Pietro? No. <laughs> Look, we're still looking for Pietro. 
we're not done yet. Um, we are hunting for him again in a couple of weeks. At least that is the plan. Uh, why is that? I don't really care if they're off-center from the bottom. <laughs> but we're looking for Pietro again in a couple of weeks. Um, at the end of the month. I just needed to take a break because it was causing me so much pain and stress. Um, so, <laughs> we're gonna come back to our Pietro hunt in a moment. I just needed some time away. Yeah, the doors are in the same space, I know. <laughs> I know. It's because we had to, like, scoot it in such a weird way. Downstairs. And it bothers me, but I don't know what the best way to do this is. Okay, we still have, like, 11,000 simoleons. So we could, like, very easily refurnish a lot of these rooms. You know, for example, say we didn't want to have a Murphy bed anymore. I do like the Murphy bed, though. Ali, thank you for the Prime sub, and Kellen, thank you for the tier 2. 21 months! Thank you so much. Will I put it on the gallery? Yeah, Matt, I'll put it on the gallery once it's done. I put all my bills in the gallery, so we just gotta finish it first. <laughs> That's the main concern, is getting the build done. To ease your pain and suffering, I will name the kitten Pietro. I love that. I respect that. <laughs> ooh, ooh, Rage um, and Envies, thank you for all of the, the donations to St. Jude as well. Thank you so much. You are all so amazing. <laughs> okay. Um, this is my favorite bathroom tile combination. I'm not gonna lie, I think this looks so good. Like, I love it. Okay, I want to put, um... Where did I have this? <laughs> oh, maybe it was in the bathroom. Oh, it was like a bath mat, probably. Josephine, Justin, thank you for the donations to St. Jude as well. And then... Okay, we could get like a second one of these bookshelves to help fill up the wall. Um... Is that an egg rug upstairs? It's not an egg rug, it's an egg pet bed. Um, that's my dog's bed. <laughs> but it might as well be an egg rug. Um, so you're not- you're not fully wrong. <laughs> it is kind of like an egg rug. Um, okay. We can put the pet's bed next to my workout equipment. See? Uh, Zayla, Gabby, in memory of your uncle, and Odd, thank you for the $10 to St. Jude, all of you. Thank you so much. Is the dog named Omelette? No, it's named Mango, though. Which is kind of close to Omelette. <laughs> it's not quite named Omelette, but it might as well be. No, it's not an egg rug. It's, um, it's, like I said, it's an egg pet bed. And it's not custom content. It actually came with my first pet stuff. So, don't blame yourself if you haven't seen it before. It's, it's simply from my first pet stuff. So, you know. <laughs> How could you have seen it? <laughs> okay, let me get these pictures back by my door. I'm basically like rebuilding the same house, just bigger. <laughs> Can I keep the baseball bat by the door? Yeah, I think I can. <laughs> that is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, we could probably get a real trash can, fi finally, in this kitchen. We haven't had a trash can in our kitchen the entire time. Like, the entire time we've been playing this save, we have never had a trash can in the kitchen. Oh, I could get the money one, maybe, even. I might regret that. We may not have enough money for that yet, but I'll try it. I'll try it and I'll see. <laughs> Kirsty Pietro, thank you for the donations to St. Jude, too. <laughs> Where is Snap? Right here. Come here, Snappy. She's in the room. <laughs> she's, she's, um, right next to me on the floor, in fact. Add some realism? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let me put this painting here, maybe. Yeah, the last one's on the gallery if you want to download it. We posted the last one on the gallery, too. Um, so you can always go download that if you'd like it. Day, Grace, Anonymous with a $40 donation to St. Jude. Thank you all so much. Um, do I think we'll ever get Generations in The Sims 4? I don't know. I- Generations is like my dream pack. Like, that is my number one thing I want next for The Sims. Um, so I would love that if we got Generations for The Sims 4. I don't know if we will. Um, but I would love it if we did. 
So, um, that would always be fun. <laughs> what is Generations? Generations was a pack for The Sims 3 um, that was very, like, family-based. It added things like teaching your teens how to drive, it had prom. Um, it was a very family-based pack that they had in The Sims 3, and it was one of my favorites. I think it's very commonly one of, like, a lot of people's favorite packs that they ever made for The Sims. Um, so I, I think a lot of people <laughs> are very excited about the possibility of a future Generations pack for The Sims 4. Um, myself included. <laughs> so... Maybe if we did it, like, the pool this direction. And I made it one longer. Could I? Eee. No. There, that's fine. Destiny, thank you for the $20 to St. Jude. Happy almost birthday. Can I sing you a song? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think that this next expansion pack will be Generations. I mean, obviously we could we could end up being surprised, but I um I don't really expect the the new expansion pack that they just announced to be Generations because they said it has to do with nature. Um so I feel like it's probably very unlikely that it's a Generations pack, right? I mean, if it's a nature-based one like they said. So, I don't know. I guess again, we could always be surprised. <laughs> I just, um, I kind of doubt that it'll be Generations. I don't want to get, I, I think that is very unlikely this time around, unfortunately. Um, which is sad, because I'm with you. I would love for it to be Generations, but I don't know. I want Juice with Simsy with the $100 donation to St. Jude as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> There's been so many donations today. Thank you all so much. Almost $139,000. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, the last pack was kind of nature-related. Um, I assume that this one will be very different, though. Like, I, I, I don't want to get my hopes up, but I really think that there's a possibility that this pack might end up being farming. And again, I don't want to get my hopes up too much, because I, like, I know a lot of people want farming, so I don't want to, like, contribute to speculation that ends up being wrong, but I don't know. Like, I think this pack might end up being farming. I, I don't think that's unlikely that this pack would be farming, but we'll see. I don't know, I just... <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, okay, this is ridiculous. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, Love speculation is plant sims or fairies. I've, I've also given thought to that. I, I uh, mentioned yesterday on stream that I thought maybe, maybe fairies, but... I don't know. I, I, that one seems like it would kind of come out of nowhere for me. I feel like I, farming seems a lot more likely in my mind, but what do I know? We could be wrong. Um, we could be wrong about that. Um, but anyway, so Generations was a pack in The Sims 3 that was like my favorite expansion pack ever. Um, and it was a lot of people's as well. It added things like prom and graduation. Um, it had like so many more school clubs. It added like canes for elders. They had strollers to walk your babies and toddlers around in. Like, it added a bunch of things for different life states. Like, that was the whole pack, basically. Um, it was adding life events for all these different life states, and I would love that for The Sims 4. Um, that, that's, like, again, personally, like, way up there with one of my probably most requested things. Like, if I could pick any pack to have for The Sims 4, I'd, I'd probably pick Generations. Um, so, I don't know. I don't think that's gonna be the next expansion, but that would be good. Cow plant stuff pack? Oh, that would... <laughs> you know, that's a sort of a different concept, but also good. <laughs> I, I mean, I wouldn't say no to that. <laughs> okay. Let me stick this up here. We don't even need that right now. I'm just trying to finish putting all the rest of our extras down. We have this... Um, I would be excited about farming. I'm, I'm very into the concept of farming. I, um... I like to have my sims do stuff like that, so the idea of a farming pack would be fun to me. I just, I kind of wonder, like, what it would entail, you know? Because we already have so much about gardening in The Sims 4, like, it just, I, I kind of sit here and I wonder, like, what on earth would they add in a farming pack? I'm sure that if they did it, they have plenty of really good ideas. I just, 
I sit here and I'm like, what would farming add? Like, what would they do with farming in The Sims, you know, um, that we don't already have? But again, I'm sure if they do it, they have probably very good ideas. Um, because it has to be, if it's going to be a whole expansion pack, it has to be like groundbreaking, right? Oh my god, Sawyer, thank you for the $20 to St. Jude for your Nana, and Master, thank you for the $100 to St. Jude as well. Um, bond with nature. <laughs> Carbon dioxide is a produce from cars. Carbon dioxide also happens in nature. Is this a cars tease? <laughs> bond with nature. Cars exist in nature. Cars come into The Sims 4. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that must be it. <laughs> no, I don't know what to expect, but I, I I bet it'll be fun. No matter what, I bet I'll like it. They honestly, they kind of like knock it out of the park with pretty much every expansion pack, in my opinion. So, truthfully, like no matter what they do, I will probably like it. So, um, no no pressure, EA, but I got high expectations. <laughs> oh, we need to get a thermostat. I forgot about that. That would be useful, I suppose. Um, but yeah, like, the past expansions, they're always really good. I don't know. I'm... <sighs> Alright, what about a plant? A nice, big plant. What if we use this one? I never put this plant in my Sims builds. What if we put that here? I don't know. Lorana, thank you for the 36 months! Um, and Jesse, thank you for the $8 to stay in Jude in honor of your grandparents. Thank you so much. Um... Thank you so, so, so much. I want to get more lights. Okay. <laughs> They're talking about the nature of your family, and Car Jesus is a part of nature. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that is a stretch. <laughs> Could you imagine? The Sims 4 Car Jesus pack. <laughs> Let me paint the exterior before I get too ahead of myself again. Oops. Um... That's in reference to, basically, I don't even know how this started. We were talking about how in the Cars cinematic universe, <laughs> like the Pixar Cars cinematic universe, um, they have the Pope. So we were kind of like going, okay, if they have a Pope, then do they have Jesus? Like, <laughs> and we sort of started spiraling from there. Um, that's where that came from. <laughs> Please, don't worry about it. <laughs> Stop! Car Jesus drove on water. We can't go- we can't do this again. We can't <laughs> go down this road again. <laughs> then we started talking about like, does Mrs. Incredible have bones? You know, these are all really important questions that we have to find an answer to. We can't do this again. I can't. For a while there, and this was like all we talked about on stream. I can't go down this road again. <laughs> Tylee! Ooh, ooh, thank you for the donations to St. Jude. Uh, and Megan, thank you for the donation to St. Jude as well. The $25, thank you so much. Live, love, car Jesus. Put that on your wall. <laughs> Live, love, car Jesus. <laughs> Do you know what? If someone made me live, love, car Jesus CC, I'd put it in my house. I would. I'd put it on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, I love you. Thank you for the donation. Please do not feel bad. Don't ever feel bad for not having a big enough donation. I, I mean this, I say this every time. We don't raise all this money for St. Jude with like big donations. It comes from a lot of people giving one, two dollars at a time. And that adds up really fast. Um, so don't feel like your donation is too small. Never feel like your donation is too small. And I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you for the donation. And Mrs. Incredible doesn't have bones. Oh, bold statement with the dollar to St. Jude too. <laughs> Imagine I post this speed build this weekend, or like tomorrow, I post this speed build tomorrow, because my video today was called like, I can build things that aren't blue suburbans. <laughs> and then tomorrow I say, I can only build blue suburban. No way, I want to post this speed build tomorrow. I think that would be so funny if I did. Okay, we have to finish this so I can post it on YouTube tomorrow. <laughs> this is really important. We have to finish this right now. <laughs> car Jesus on behalf of the Vata car and car Satan. Thank you for the donations to St. Jude too. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? It's like not even that funny, but for some reason it, it really amuses me. Okay. Um, let's not, 
waste too much more money. Oh, we don't have many more paintings, but this could be like the first time we actually get some art on the walls. I don't know, this could be pretty. This has some nice color swatches. Maybe we could put this in here. Oh, that's kind of the vibe, honestly. <laughs> kind of blends in. Um, okay. Noah's Ark, but everything is a car. Stop, this is so dumb. Why are we doing this? <laughs> Harper, thank you for the four months. Can you ask what St. Jude is? Yeah, Bob, St. Jude is a children's research hospital in the US. Um, St. Jude, the most important thing that you need to know where the money is gonna go is that every patient who goes to wait, sorry, Little Dika Get Busy is the <laughs> full winner. Little Dika is a CC creator. He's a, he hangs out in our streams a lot. Um, <laughs> Sorry, St. Jude is a children's research hospital in the U.S. Um, and they are entirely funded by donations and every patient that gets treated at St. Jude will never pay a dime for their treatment. So the families of St. Jude kids never have to pay a dime for any of their life-saving treatments that their kids have. That goes for even things like food for the family while they're there. If they have to travel to stay near the hospital, like a place to stay, St. Jude covers literally everything for those families because the last thing you need to worry about when your kid is battling cancer is how you're gonna pay for those life-saving treatments. Um, and so this money goes directly to paying for those kids. Uh, but also, if you didn't know, St. Jude is a research hospital, um, right? So the, the research they're doing goes to benefit literally everyone around the world. They've been working to find a cure to childhood cancer. And since St. Jude was founded back in the 60s, back then the survival rate of childhood cancer was 20%. And they have like inverted that and turned it on its head. Now it is 80%. And that is largely thanks to the work that St. Jude is doing. Um, so St. Jude is a wonderful place. I mean, obviously it's a hospital, but <laughs> they're doing the best they can do to make these kids not miserable and just make it the best experience it can be for them um, and to make it as easy as possible for their families. So St. Jude is an awesome, awesome organization and we raise money for them every year. This is the second year we've done this. Um, and we've raised almost $139,000 together for St. Jude. <laughs> um, anyway, that's my, my little spiel. Um, but St. Jude is a great place and it means a lot to me. So thank you for helping me do this. Thank you seriously for helping me do this. Um, it, this, I just, I honestly have like no words. This is unbelievable. <laughs> like $139,000 in just like three weeks. Less than. Um, oh, I almost pressed the button with my water bottle. <laughs> oh wait, I could have. We just got 139,000. <laughs> I like set my water bottle down on my desk and I set it down on top of the button. It would have been funny if I had pressed it by accident. That's good timing. We always, we have this St. Jude button and I press it whenever we raise a hundred thousand. No, I press it whenever we raise a thousand dollars for St. Jude. I don't press it every one hundred thousand dollars. That is a little bit beyond our scale. <laughs> Imagine I press it once every hundred K. So once, we've pressed it once, right. No, but we have this St. Jude button that we press when we raise $1,000 for St. Jude. So $139,000, by the way. Thank you so much. And car Jesus turned gas into oil. Stop. <laughs> Thank you for the dollar. Nature equals cars with the $20. Thank you all so much. I have a lot of fun on stream, and that is largely thanks to all of you just making it such a fun place to be. So thank you again for everything. You're just, you're all the coolest. We have, we have a really great place to hang out, and um, I'm really grateful for that. So thank you again. All right, let's get a plant. Oh, that's beautiful. I like that a lot. Maybe, honestly, I might swap these for a bigger plant because I kind of want to have like some more <laughs> leaves. <laughs> I kind of want to have some more leaves in here. I might change the wallpaper. I'm not sure about this one. Maybe if we did a light blue. Oh, that's actually a bit better. Um, <laughs> love to pray expansion pack. Stop! <laughs> People are gonna think we're religious or something, and we're just talking about cars. We're talking about cars, the Disney Pixar movie. <laughs> Hello again. Thank you for the dollar to St. Jude, too. <laughs> what are we doing? How, what it what? Okay, this is ridiculous, in a good way. I'm having a lot of fun. Thank you again, everybody. <laughs> Taylor Blake, PG Maria, thank you for the donations. Happy birthday, PG! And Rose, thank you for the $250 to St. Jude. Thank you so, so, so much. <clears throat> uh, 
that was for Peachy's birthday. <laughs> Don't mind me. Okay, how about a little bookshelf? Well, that's too small, isn't it? That looks a bit silly. Can I put it somewhere else? Oh, what if we had it here? Oh. Now the hallway's a bit small. <laughs> I can stick my Roomba over here. And then my dog's food bowl. Maybe it could go, like, right there. I don't know. That's not too weird, is it? Little Dika, Car Jesus died for your tickets. Carson for next heir. We can name the next baby Carson. I, <laughs> you know what? Let me write that down. Carson. Carson. Maybe we can manifest cars for the Sims 4 that way. The next baby, because Carson, like, that's a pretty neutral name. Like, that could be anybody. <laughs> Alex, morning light. Thank you for the donations to say to you, too. Uh, George Carr Washington. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here comes Pi Callie in Brooklyn. Thank you for the resubs, too. I like that. I'm into the Carson idea. I, I can get behind that for sure. Okay, maybe another one of these plants in the corner. Oh, that's a nice one. I never use that plant. Maybe I'll put a different one here, then. A bigger one. Can I put this on my patio? I never use this thing. Why am I doing this now? I don't know. I just like it. <laughs> Car Jesus was actually a plane. Lil Cars X. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my god. Okay. I want to get, um... Do you think we'll ever get cars for The Sims 4? This is a genuine question. I... I don't think we will. I... I think I've given up hope on cars for The Sims 4. I don't think we'll ever get cars for The Sims 4. And I don't want to, like, you know, jinx it or put bad vibes out in the air, but... I don't know. I don't... I feel like it's a lost cause at this point. It's been so long, and I just don't know how they would work. Like, I would like them. I don't care that much about it, but I mean, I wouldn't say no to cars, you know? I wouldn't be, like, mad about it. But I just- I can't imagine how it would work. But to be fair, I said that exact same thing about toddlers. Like, the exact- I just can't imagine how they would add them now, it's been so long, and then they added them, so... I mean... <laughs> Look, who am I to talk? Maybe I'll be wrong, but... I just can't- I just can't, like, fathom how they would do it now, after all this time, but... Feel free to surprise me, Sims 4. <laughs> Feel free to, to make me eat my words, because I wouldn't complain. Uh, Poe and Car, thank you for the donations to St. Jude, too. Thank you so much. If they can do bikes, they can do cars. Yeah, but bikes don't have to go on the road. <laughs> cars need roads. And, like, so many of the lots don't... Oh, oh dear. But, like, so many of the lots don't have, like, a driveway. You know? Um... And I think that's part of what makes me feel weird about it. And, like, you know, it doesn't ha- it's not because it's not open world. Like, we didn't have open world in, um, The Sims 2 and they had cars. But, like, they had driveways and stuff. But I don't know. I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> so I'll shut up. in like the best way this is this is so good thank you so much this is so good i can't believe you made you spent time making this that makes me so happy this is so fun <laughs> thank you so much also razor scooters for the sims 4 honestly i'd take scooters in the sims 4 i would not complain about that give me scooters for the sims <laughs> Love to drive, um, car, love to die for your sins. Stop, this is so... 
What are we doing? Where, what does this become? Tricycles on it? But that, okay. Seriously though, that'd be cute if we had tricycles. Like, not a prank. I'm into that concept. Thank you again for this wreck. That, that Rick Astley thing is like fully made my day. That was not what I was expecting. When I opened that DM, that was like the last thing I was expecting you to say. <laughs> you just, you know, you never anticipate there to be a Rick Astley cardboard cutout in your DMs. And then somehow there is. <laughs> and I'm not complaining about that. Montero, car me by your name. <laughs> With the dollar to St. Jude. Stop! What have we done? <laughs> we've, go we've gone too far. Car me by your name. <laughs> okay. I want to put some of my decorations on this little desk again because I had them before. <laughs> and then uh, maybe my gold bars could go. Oh, up there. Oh, perfect. My pronouns? She, her, Maddie. Thanks for asking. Um, Jeffers, thank you for the $5 of St. Jude, too. Thank you so much. Um, okay. This bedroom, we were gonna leave empty on purpose, uh, because we don't have a lot of money left. <laughs> That's the main reason, is that we don't have a lot of money left. Oh, dear. I did not mean to do that. Um, Anna, thank you for the $5 of St. Jude, too. Um, in honor of your grandma, I love you. Thank you so much for the donation. Can we see Snap, please? Oh, she's right there. <laughs> she's sleeping with her toy. Look. She's just hanging out with her little toy. <laughs> Hi, Snappy. Oh, oh, I want to take a picture of her really fast. Hang on. <laughs> I want to take a picture so you can see her. She does this a lot. She like sleeps next to and like kind of guards her toys. Um, which I respect, you know, you never want someone to come, like, steal them. Um, okay. Wait. I, uh, I sent it to Dan. I was like, which, who did I DM this to? How can I pull it up? Um, here's a better image that is not out of focus. <laughs> Look at my cat! Hi, Snappy! She's just hanging out. Okay, anyway, that's my Rick Astley cardboard cutout, by the way. <laughs> So cute. Uh, car wash, car Jesus on the highway to heaven, Elastacar. <laughs> Thank you for the donations to St. Jude, too. What does this become? All right, I think I used to have like a green wallpaper in this room. In the one before. Okay, before I get too distracted, I want to do the landscaping. Um, because that is very important to me to actually have landscaping. We can do some debug landscaping, but. Um, oh, I might make this only too high. The, oh, it looks ugly. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Ugh. Um, wait, really? You made your mom and grandma take the Pottermore quiz? I love that. That's kind of a fun idea. I should get my family to take it. Raven, thank you for the nine months, too. Thank you so much. Um, but we can use the same flowers as before, ideally. Um... But I want to have, like, some bushes, you know? We like how the- we like having some bushes to help spread it out. There's a painting stuck in the stairs. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Um, maybe we can put it over here. That could be nice. Uh, Mage, Jen, thank you for the resubs, too. Thank you so much. Thinking of adding a graveyard soon? Well, no, so here's the thing. <laughs> And I realize that this sounds absolutely ridiculous, but, um, no, because I like piling up my gravestones in my front yard. So I don't want a graveyard because I like it better when they're all just lined up in my front yard. Um. <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> Rick Astley cardboard cutout. Stop with the car. The cars. It's gone too far. Um, cart and I, Carly. Thank you for the donations. Car Jesus, take the wheel. Stop. Well, what have we done? <laughs> I feel like I 
I've lost it. Okay. Um, BB dot show hidden objects. BB dot show live edit objects. Okay. What does car Yoda drive? A Toyota. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun right now. Thank you all very much for this. Um, where are my plants that are- Okay, this is the tree that I had before. Let me stick it. Is that clipping in the house? Yes. Well, have you tried- There we go, not clipping. I was gonna say, have you tried not clipping? But I did make it not clip, so it's fine. <laughs> False alarm. Does that clip? Yes. I can maybe scoot it a little bit more like that. Okay. Another one. Carly Ray Jepsen. Oh no. <laughs> Thank you for the donation to St. June too. <laughs> um, I don't want that to cover the house too much. Maybe we can stick it over there. Does that clip? Barely, that's fine. If you hold alt, you can rotate like that. Rachel, thank you for the prime sub as well. Um, but yeah, it's holding alt lets you rotate that way. Okay, these are the kind of bushes that we were using before. Actually, yeah, these are the exact ones. We didn't have bigger ones, did we? We just had these. Okay. Maybe if we put... Well, I suppose we do have access to bigger ones, don't we? I have to find them first. Debug is confusing. Yeah, we have this. Would that be better? I don't know. Maybe for like some places. But... <laughs> Look at the whole chat! Carbon dioxide! Carly D'Amelio! <laughs> What have we become? Thank you all so much. I- this has been a lot of fun today. I know I keep saying that, but this is- This has gone too car. Okay. <laughs> Sue, I love to honk. Thank- this is called karma. Thank you all again for the donations to St. Jude. <laughs> okay, um... Let me make sure I get, like... I don't know... Maybe we could stick this, like, back there. And then... I could try and have, um... I don't know, we could try and get, like, a, f a little pathway to it, or something. So that it's a little bit more interesting. I don't know. We're just messing around. We'll figure it out. Carnivores only. Sims 4 Island. Carrot. Caradice. <laughs> Ka-chow. Carla Sims. Thank you. <laughs> thank you all for the, uh, the donations to St. Jude. Okay. That looks good. Let me stick that in there, too. Oh, no. Maybe we should use the bigger one. I think if I put, where did the bigger one go? How far down is it? Hello? Oh, I think I definitely scrolled past it. Oh no. No, I didn't. Where? Oh, it's right there. Okay, sorry, false alarm. <laughs> I'm thinking like that would blend in nicely. Oh, that looks weird. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I do want this one to go here, though. That's fine, I think. Um, Descarcito? <laughs> Stop! Thank you for the donations to St. Jude, too. Okay. What can we put in this spot? Lil Carzy? <laughs> um, sunflowers, maybe? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I think that if we got a couple of... Or, like, some sort of plant that is not... 
even like that could help fill in the empty space, you know? Same with back here. I think that won't be so bad. Woohoo bush? Would Dan love you if you were a car? Dan, would you love me if I was a car? There's a right and wrong answer to this. What kind of car? <laughs> okay, I, I suppose that's a valid question. Um, a Lamborghini. I have one of those. No, I'm a Tesla. I'm a Tesla. <laughs> Karma Chameleon, it's Karma Lightning McQueen cosplay. Lightning McQueen cosplay? <sighs> Could you imagine? I mean, I'm considering it now. <laughs> also, Naya, thank you for the $250 donation in memory of your grandmother. Thank you so much. You are wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, let me get all this. I just car so much about the kids with the donation to St. Jude, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everyone, you are so wonderful. This is the coolest thing. We're just having- we're just memeing, and we're raising so much money for St. Jude by doing it, so thank you. Um, okay. I wanted to scoot these a little bit closer. We'll obviously put the foundation back up. I just had to- I had to get rid of it a little so that- oh, that's too high. I had to get rid of the foundation a little bit so that we could actually, um, do the landscaping. But now, now we should be good to go. Okay. I may actually get rid of the underside of that. Save some money on it, you know? Um, Carmen San Diego, <laughs> thank you all for the donations to St. Jude, too. <laughs> okay. Um... I think this is looking pretty good. I think as a last step, I may get myself some bushes and stick them down here. Oh, Dan, because you're here now, I don't know if you heard me say this earlier, but um, I think I'm gonna post this speed build tomorrow on my YouTube channel. Oh wait, no, because the, the I'm gonna do a trailer reaction tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna post this speed build at some point this week on my YouTube channel. Um, and, cause you know how my video today was titled like, I can build things that aren't blue suburbans. It'll be like, never mind. <laughs> can only build blue suburbans. <laughs> and we come in with this. I to I think that personally is very funny. Um, so that is the plan. Trailer reaction. They announced uh, the new game pack today. They teased it. The trailer is. I guess they're technically announcing it tomorrow. We don't know what it is yet officially, but we think it's an interior design pack. Um, and the the trailer comes out tomorrow. So. Uh, we're doing that tomorrow. <laughs> I hope the quests have a blue suburban one. Oh my god, could you imagine if they had, like, a blue suburban quest? <laughs> You're gonna buy this game pack? I think you should, Dan. I think you'll like it. Genuinely. I think we will all like this game pack a lot. I think it is, like, right up all of our alleys. Okay, I might move this... to inside the house again. Okay, we have a couple more simoleons. I think... I think that maybe we would benefit from- oh, maybe the, the dog bed can go in this room. <laughs> Wait. Or we can put it somewhere else, too. I'm not sure. Shan just sent me a link to a Lightning McQueen costume on Amazon. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what are we doing right now? What has this become? <laughs> okay, I'll keep that there for now. And then maybe we could add on to this bedroom a tiny bit. Like, would we benefit from a mirror behind this? I don't know, that can't hurt. Right, Erica, uh, Mrs. Manhattan, one dollar for Lil McQueeny cosplay. <laughs> Cardiology, car about another dollar, Lil Carzy. X Truck Dan OTP stop and Car Wars Journey to Car 2. <laughs> Thank you all for the donations to St. Jude. What is going on? Okay, maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll sell that. <laughs> I genuinely don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> we could put like a little um thingy, see? 
Maybe we could put like some plants on it so that we have some more going on in this room. Jen, thank you for the 10 months too. Um, okay. Hmm. Miss Carmericana, thank you for the $5. <laughs> We're gonna leave this room empty um, so that we have room to expand. But I'm trying to think, like, do we have any posters of cats that we could add into this room? Because this sim, oh, maybe, do they have, is this one of these a cat or is it all dogs? Oh, perfect. My sim loves cats. Um, so that works out really well. Maybe we can get, like, um, this cat thing above his bed, I don't know. <laughs> We have a clown painting, too. Yeah. It's not the best bedroom we've ever done. Um, but, you know, it's nice. The pool's nice. Maybe we could get, like, a better pool tile with our extra money or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to think, like... So maybe I should add some cartons? Like, curtains, stop! This is so dumb! How have we gotten to this point? <laughs> no, it's not dumb. It's really good. This is not dumb at all. This is great fun. <laughs> I just... This is really devolved, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm unsure how we've gotten here, but I am glad that we did. <laughs> I'm in me mom's car! America's Next Top Car with the donations, and Riddy with the $250- WAIT! <laughs> $140,000 raised already for St. Jude? Hello? <laughs> Riddy, thank you so much for the donation. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. So, before we started the, the event this month, um, and I was like setting all my plans up and things, uh, I, I set the original goal at $50,000. But deep down, um, I, I was like, my goal is 150,000. Like, we raised 118,000 dollars last year, but I wasn't gonna say it, because I didn't want to, like, jinx it. But deep down, I was like, my goal is 150,000 dollars for St. Jude. I think we can actually do that now. Like, that is genuinely within reach at this point. Um, and that is really, really cool. <laughs> so thank you all so much, again, for all that you're doing. The St. Jude is a wonderful, wonderful place, and they help so many families. So thank you for this. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Karstina Aguilera in Car Jesus We Trust, Petition for Radiator Springs Build Challenge. Thank you guys for the donations to St. Jude, too. Okay, I think... Honestly... The house is turning out good. Hey, Jess, what's up? Um, how are you doing? <laughs> There's a lot happening right now. <laughs> uh, BPQQ, thank you for the $50 to St. Jude. Um, best of luck with the, with the job offer. That's awesome news. Congratulations. Um, that is huge. That is really, really exciting. Um, I don't know. I kind of want to put a rug underneath this table, but I'm not sure if that's a bit silly. I feel like we have to have solid color chairs if we're going to do something like this. <laughs> um. I guess they have, like, solid color rugs. Besties, I require Minecraft build ideas of Blue Suburban. Oh. <gasps> oh, is that cute? The little square? Yeah, we hit 140k. I know. It's huge. We just pressed the button. I'm sorry if you missed it, but we did <laughs> we did get it. Um oh, the other thing I was going to tell you about is my possible- I need to figure out if I can make it work still. But there's this Twitch extension, um, that's set up to work. It- they made it originally to work with, like, bits and stuff, um, but they also have a Tiltify integration, so it works with charity streams. And the way it works is you, like, donate to St. Jude, and then you can use the extension to, like, buy different things in Minecraft. 
So I kind of want to try and do it on Saturday. I watched little Sia do it. Avery did it on stream. And so you could like pay money to kill me in Minecraft or like pay money to spawn a creeper and like all these things. And then it like connects with a mod into my Minecraft game and it works. But I need to like test it some more before we like officially announce this to make sure I can make it work. Cause I only started looking into it today. Um, I need to like make sure I can set it up so that it actually works. But wouldn't that be so fun? I think that would be like the coolest thing. So, um, I think we'll try that. <laughs> Dollar train to 141k, but it's just cars. Susanna, Kerchow, Karina, Logan. <laughs> Petition for a house shaped like a car. Thank you all for the donations to St. Jude, too. Okay, this house is coming along really nicely. I'm trying to think of, like, little ways we can spend the last bit of our money, but I probably shouldn't spend the last bit of our money. We probably should, like, stop. <laughs> to be honest. Oh, a fire alarm. That would be useful. A fire alarm. Okay, guest room. I wasn't gonna put any furniture in here for a reason. <laughs> I was just gonna leave it. <laughs> Can I put this on display more somewhere? <gasps> oh! Gold bars just hanging out on the shelf. Subtle, but good. Window on second floor is glitch. Where? Oh, this one is. Got it. Got it. We have a thermostat, yes. That girl possessed, thank you for the 2569 to St. Jude, too. Um, okay. Maybe an extra plant or something in here? I don't know. And then once we have kids, this can be one of our first kids' rooms. I, I think we probably shouldn't spend all of our money, just in case, because it would not be good if we had bills come right now. <laughs> right? We have trash cans. The TV wall is white. Uh-oh, wait, I'll fix it. Oh, wait, how did I manage that? I somehow like forgot to update it. The TV wall was still white. <laughs> um, a car in the guest room. Fine. Fine. There's the garage. <laughs> I can't wait to come back in the future. Um, and people are gonna be like, why is there a car in there? I'll be like, what car? I don't see it. The house is finally complete. Okay, let me put this on the gallery for you. <laughs> um, wow. Legacy challenge house. <laughs> Four bedrooms, three bathrooms. The house I've been playing with in my legacy challenge on Twitch. My dad just said 150k for real easy. I'm gonna be- oh, by Friday easy. Oh, not- f he said FR. I thought for real. 150k by Friday Isa, easy. I'm gonna be a Lisa Pancake looking dude. LOL. <laughs> so if you missed it from earlier, I promise that if we raise 150k for St. Jude, I would do an Eliza Pancakes cosplay. And then my dad came in and he was like, I'll dress up like Lisa Pancakes. <laughs> he said Lisa Pancakes, um, but he, we know what he meant. <laughs> so... If we get to $150,000, me and my dad are going to cosplay as Lisa Pancakes. Like Eliza Pancakes, but slightly worse. Lisa Waffle, you know? Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> Jen, Blue Ford, Suburban, uh, Cardin, Ramsey, oh my god, thank you guys for the donations to St. Jude, too. Um, I'm glad we got a new house. I'm feeling better with some more space now. How can you get worse than Eliza Pancakes? That's a good question. I am feeling better having some more space though. So this should be good. Um, and we'll slowly upgrade and stuff. Please let me build I'm new. <laughs> oh. So this is my legacy challenge save we've been playing on Twitch. Um, we're on the fourth generation. We're kind of in that like in-between period where my Sim, the heir, Clayla, um, is just about to become a young adult. So we're kind of like switching to her generation soon. Um, 
so we finally got some more money. We're setting everything up. Uh, this is my piranha pond where I kill my enemies. Um, these are all my enemies. <laughs> it's my family. This is all my dead family and Vlad. Um, it's my dead family and Vlad. Uh, <laughs> my Sim uh, is working as a secret agent, so he has to get his logic skill up, so we've got this. Um, this is just our backyard. As far as the inside goes, it's just a regular house. You know, I got my Sim's bedroom here. Here's my rat. Its name is Rick Ratsley after Rick Astley. Um, <laughs> this is my car in the garage. Um, this is my Sim. Uh, his name is Clayton. He loves cats. Uh, this is his room. <laughs> And this is the dad, Clayton. Um, his his ex fiance is dead, so we don't have her around anymore. Um, but that's the house. <laughs> that's the whole house. Between the trees, ultralight. J dot. Thank you for the resub. Gmail with the five months too. Thank you so much. That is a car on the second floor. Yes. I don't know why it's there either. It's my garage. It's my garage. What? <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> Do you not like it? Um, because I think it looks really good. <laughs> yeah, what car? Yeah, we sent the fiance to the pond. She she had lots of red flags about her. Hang on. Oh, here she was. Um, she was she had the Batu aspiration, so we should have known. Um, we on our first date with her, we went to the pool. And she got randomly attacked by a dog, which is like, why, how did that happen? And then we went over to our house and my cat attacks her. So animals hated her. We should have known it wasn't a good sign because every animal ever hated Elise. And she had the two, asp the two aspiration, right? Then we proposed to her on the first day we, uh, the first day we had our date, we became boyfriend and girlfriend and we proposed to her the same day. And then she said no. But I was getting a bit stressed, so I was like, we have to get a move on if we want to have kids, because, like, short lifespan is scary. He's going to be an elder, see, already, and his kids are still teens. Um, so we were like, we have to have kids with her anyway, because we it's too late to find somebody new. So we got pregnant, um, proposed to her again after we had woohooed, and suddenly she said yes on the same day. So clearly, Elise only cares about one thing, woohoo. She was using us. Um... <laughs> And then she had the baby, um, and then I killed her in the pond to get rid of her. And then, as a ghost, she flirted with my mom. Or possibly she flirted- wait. She may have, when she was alive, flirted with my mom's ghost. I don't know. Elise just red flags all over the place. All over the place. So she's in the pond. Um, that's what happened there. And then we adopted our second kid because we wanted to have another one, so. <laughs> thank you, Simsy, and the car on the second floor. Alyssa, thank you all for those donations to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Elise is too close to Lisa Pancakes, isn't it? Anyway, she was very pretty, though. We got really lucky. Let me show you the family tree really fast before we get off stream here. Um, because, like... This Sim, Clayla, is like the fourth generation on both sides of her family, and her mom was really pretty before we put her in the pond. Um, <laughs> so, considering she's like Gen 4 on two sides of the family, that is really impressive that she ended up looking pretty. Because sometimes Sims end up looking all weird by this point, you know? Um, but my Sim is really pretty. I didn't even change anything about her. Look. She ended up really pretty. So, anyway. <laughs> uh, thank you, Simsy. Thank you for the dollar. And Woohoo and Batu, thank you for the three dollars. Um, we're gonna get off stream now here in a second, I think. Let me go find someone. I'd like to f raise somebody who maybe is also raising money for St. Jude, if that's cool with you guys. Um, I think that would be fun. Um, I'm not sure... Hmm, I need help. I can't find people while I'm streaming. There's too much going on when I try and do this while I'm streaming. It's like there's just too much happening <laughs> Just got here. Well, we got a couple minutes left still. Don't worry. Um, I'll still be here for a second and tomorrow um, I might play Animal Crossing tomorrow and then on Friday we're playing through Strangerville in a banana suit So that's the plan <laughs> 
That is the plan. <laughs> Lady Wendell Naomi, thank you for the resubs. I have a banana costume that I intend to wear and play through Strangerville with. So, get ready. <laughs> oh, do you know what? Um, my friend Nega Oryx is also raising money for St. Jude and she's playing Dead by Daylight. I know a lot of you might know Dead by Daylight um, because Dan plays it on his stream all the time. Um, but I love her. She's very kind to me. Um, and uh, that is all. <laughs> I, I was talking to her a lot yesterday. I needed advice with like a YouTube Twitch thing. Um, and I had some questions and she was helping me and I really appreciate that um, because I'm a lost little puppy sometimes and I appreciate her help. So <laughs> let's go raid Nega Oryx. Um, but she's also raising money for St. Jude right now. So this will be fun. Um, and she's playing Dead by Daylight, which is a game that um, is just like The Sims 4. <laughs> it's, um, it's a little contest. It's kind of like tag, except with, um, murder and stuff. Okay, anyway, have a great day, everybody. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, everyone. <laughs>